What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Maticus. Chilling out. And also with my buddy, Never Knows Best. Hello. Hey, your beard's gotten longer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like time has passed. Time has passed. <laughs> it's been a time week. Time has passed. It has been exactly one week. Uh, speaking of weeks, this is week 16. Yeah. Full Bar Friday, 2022, week 16. 16 strong weeks. Uh, what's, what actually... What's the status? What's the status on next week? Full bar Friday. Uh, next week, uh, since it's Evo, I will be doing something with uh, some friends. We're, I think we're going to do a watch. Head over to my hometown, have an Evo watch party with the guys Sick. over there. That I got to make sure they're good before I just start rolling down and hanging out. But I, I, uh, I'm going to call them up. Um, either tomorrow or Sunday, because uh, some of them were, I think, are out with COVID. But um, oh, yeah. yeah, so just making sure don't want to mess anything yeah, up yeah, from yeah. there. We live in modern times. It is the year 2022. But other than that, I'm, if that doesn't fly, I I actually took the weekend off, so I may just co-stream it and just hang out. Ooh. So full bar, full bar watch party. Get the full Discord bar watch party. In. Yeah, yeah, that sounds sick. Yeah, the, the watch parties that we ha- have in Texture Canada, they're pretty popping. Like, we would get, like, uh, um, get the barbecue grill. Oh, I see. Some yeah. real, so it's like real we, Texas we tr- energy. We, right, we, like. we do the Super Bowl party, pretty much. But with okay, Evo. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to watch Evo on the couch. I'm not trying to go nowhere. Bro. Yeah. I'm trying to sit down on the sofa. And that's it. Just like absolute chilling. Yeah. Same here. Let's get the bracket. Was that exclamation bracket in the chat? Let's get that. Yeah, it should be up. Let's see. Here we go. I want to make one final push on social media real quick. Ah, yes. FGC Twitter. The best. The best source of FGC social media. Man, I, every time I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna I'm just lay it out. This is how it is. Every time I go on FGC Twitter, I am just left in awe at how many brain cells it could make me lose. At this point, I think like huffing paint thinner for recreation <laughs> would be a more educational experience than going on FGC Twitter. Man, I bro. tell you what, man, it's, every it's time, something else. Every time I'm just like, oh man, they can't, they can't have any hot takes today. And I go on this like triple X death spicy jalapeno hot take, bro. It's like pepper X in there. Like, yep. My God, I don't don't even get me started. Don't what? Like I don't even want to know what they're talking about now. Like I don't. <laughs> I'm just posting full bar content. That's it. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. <laughs> But um, but yeah, we're we're about to hit start here pretty soon. Two more minutes, get players all checked in, ready to go. Man, I hope everyone's to, hope everyone's doing well. FGC yeah, about to go on FGC Twitter. I'm about to do it. About... Should just post something stupid and hashtag it. You're like yo, Balrog's pretty good. <laughs> instead of instead of using discords. We should all just use group text chats. <laughs> group text chats, yeah. yeah. Like, like literally, like it, there, there'll be something on there like that. Like, man, yeah. It, instead of doing one thing, we should just do another thing, and everybody's like, ah. No, Bro. you, no, you fool. They shouldn't have health bars. Like, it's it's too technical. Yeah. They shouldn't have health bar. Health bars scare away new players, man. They should just not have the health bar. <laughs> they shouldn't have meters either. Trying to figure out who we're going to pl- put in first tonight. Uh, well, let's got, do Just Pokey and Super Captain Kuma. That seems like okay. a cool... Super Captain Kuma, a newcomer to Full Bar Friday, It right? is. I see. And then you know, we the got, that, that match. got that man Maticus playing. Oh, yeah. I heard, that, I heard that guy plays Balrog. Yeah. Balrog. Yeah. 
What a bum. Just mixing people up. Just 50-50 full screen rush punch on reactable. Hey, man. It works. <laughs> hey, it do work. It do work. <laughs> Winners are one. Who, who needs a cross up when you could just do overhead or spin low? Like for real. Yeah, that's the mix up. Mm -hmm. There's no footsies. Just ignore neutral. Got a big roundhouse button, crush counters, get a big damaging combo. Footsies. 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 <laughs> and, um, yeah. Yeah, let's get that going. Let's see if. Yeah, we got Just Pokey versus Super Captain Kuma come up. Winner of that match is going to go up against Giyu PC. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see. Then we got, uh, who else we got in the bracket? We got uh, Siberian. Somebody's going to get command grab. We got Chrono gone. Good to see him back. Uh, we got a drunk monkey. Possible newcomer. Uh, oh, he, he's, he's been there for a while. He plays Nash. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. he plays Nash. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, we got Shinokuma, who plays Akuma. We got John256. He plays uh, Honda. Hunter Hand Slap Honda. Espada. Uh, Luke. I believe um, so. Luke and maybe maybe Akuma, but why would you pick anything but Luke? And then we got uh, Daywalker, a.k.a. Integra, uh, the Ken player. We got Sam Strafe, Red Comet, playing on Ryu. And then we got some dude who plays Balrog in the bracket there. And some bum. And he had a Balrog some, in the... Some guy. He's just going to do full screen EX. EX activate the overhead. Footsie. <laughs> Hey man, if it, yeah. full screen EX activate, full screen EX activate. Super bear, okay. Hit him, hit him with the, hit him with the two spins in a row. What is that V skill called? KKB. Just hit him with the double. KK, yeah. The double. yeah, KKB. <laughs> just double twice in a row. Don't even let him. Like, oh, bro, you thought I was walking? Nah, I'm just KKB. K that it's cheap, bro. I don't know, man. It is cheap. Rog, Rog a little bit slept on. He's kind of cheap, man. Like, you ever try to make a comeback versus Rog, bro? Like, you better not mess up. I mean, he don't have a cross up. <laughs> Who needs a cross up? Look, they already gave him a command grab. He don't need a cross up. He could overhead you for like seventy percent. Needs a cross he up and a gun. Coast. He needs a gun. All right. Let's be real. I can't believe there's not one character who isn't just like, here's my ultimate technique, gun, right? Like where? Yeah. Put the Uzi doll in the game. You play the story mode, the Uzi doll, right? Like, the Uzi doll, yeah. Yeah. Put the <laughs> too, like, too many, on, man. Like, too many guns. <laughs> Let me dual wield the Mac tens. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. We'll play uh, DNF duel if we want Mac tens. <laughs> See, that's that's what it is. Every game, every one of them popular games has the gun. You know what I'm saying? Guilty Gear, they got a gun. They got Gun Flame in Guilty Gear. Mm -hmm. Gun Flame. Gun Flame. And then they got a DNF, right? What else? Mortal Kombat, it's got guns. Tekken, it's got guns. Right? Yeah. Come on. Uh, <laughs> for a costume, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a... Um... Is, there a... is there a character who like just pulls out the piece? Without the cost, I'm trying to think of all the rage arts. Nina has a rocket launcher, or is it Anna with the rocket launcher? Anna has the rocket launcher. It counts. Either way, all I'm saying, get Balrog a shotgun. Take it off Sagat. Put it on Rog. <laughs> Can you imagine Rog with a projectile? What a world would that be? It'd be fair and okay. balanced. I don't know. Who am I talking? Like. What am I talking about? I mean, Rush Punch might as well be a projectile. You space it right, it's pretty cheap. All Speaking right, so we cheap. got we got our players. We got Seth and Karin, allegedly. Seth, <laughs> huh? Seth, kind of cheap. Uh, v Trigger Two, pretty good. Uh, Seth, a little bit low health. Pokey probably gonna pick Falk. I'd be surprised if Pokey doesn't pick Karen, or doesn't pick picks Karen over Falk. Hmm. Uh, I mean, 
I don't know. It is round one. Sometimes you'd be playing in tournament. You're like, let me test out, test out my secondary characters. Let me see how I'm doing with those. A little bit of experimentation, especially in the first game, first round. You got some room. Winners bracket stuff. Uh, this is a double elimination tournament, right? So yeah, it is double elimination. I think. Double. Let me check, sir. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Let's see here. Someone's thinking about this character select. Good lord. Okay, okay. It is, in fact, Falk versus Seth. Uh, we have the tiny Seth costume. Uh, interesting color choice there. Pokey Round with one. the classic purple and blue. Oh. Round one. Already into the command grab. Absorb some of Folk's power. I don't know what what Seth does after that. I think he gets uh, uppercut. He gets Psycho Schneider. I haven't seen it in use yet, but uh, yeah. Let me let me see some. Let me see some Captain Bear, Super Captain Bear. Let me see. Let, let, let's see some. All right, playing that safe zoning game there from Just Pokey. Activation station. Ooh, gets away with it. This is huge. Oh, nice. Taking uh, round one. That is interruptible, but it's really, really hard to get that reaction. When she does the V-trigger flip, uh, most characters with a DP, uh, Seth included, can, in fact, interrupt that. Oh, huge EX. Going to the corner now. Plus frames. Mm. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Alright, it's round one. It's round one. You know, we just warm it up. Oh, v trigger activation. Oh, baited the DP. Already in player one side corner. The movement oh. from Pokey is phenomenal with Falk right now. Still a chance. It's not over till the red bar of courage is expended. He's got V-Trigger 1. Checking the toes. Nice. 40 seconds on the clock. Blocking it out. Definitely, one touch either way. Definitely playing that, that timer. Oh, caught the toes again. Good stuff from Pokey. Falk wins. Yeah, definitely like the adjustments there uh, from Pokey. Just slowing down the pace. Th getting that V-Trigger out to... Uh, keep Seth grounded a little bit. Yeah, once the shot presser got on, we really saw uh, Super Captain Bear taking his time trying to figure out what's going on. And, uh, you know, a little bit of hesitancy, Pokey took advantage of it, moved away, established a dominating position, really put him into a situation where it was, like, super difficult to come back from, right? Approaching Falk, not exactly the easiest thing. Approaching Falk when she has the powered-up shot, uh, and she's like shooting EX shots. She's got meter to spend. Especially tough, right? And Seth, being a low health character, doesn't really have the health to spend, right? So you get behind, and then that's like it. You don't yeah. really have that extra health just to take a stray hit here or there. Um, we'll have to see. The, the slow pace game really going into Pokey's favor. But, you know, Super Cabin Bear, no slouch, right? Pretty good confirms. A uh, little bit of a scramble there. Uh, round one, but the pressure overall pretty good, you know. So we'll have to see. Just Pokey, obviously, uh, a player who is often deep in the full bar Friday brackets. Oh, we got a character switch here. Oh, switching Cammy. Switching Cammy. Okay. Mm, probably likes to match up a little bit better. Fight. Yellow Cambert. Mm -hmm. Very decorative uh, cami outfit. Got the Medal of Honor. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty significant there. You see uh, just Pokey challenging after the dive kick. Uh, perhaps Pokey is aware that 
if she hits the dive kick too high up, it's not mm-hmm. actually Cammy's turn anymore. Man, those uh, jump in dive kicks into fierce punch, starting to add up in the damage, and that's match point for old uh, Falk there. Oh yeah, just pokey, just poking away, just uh, poking away, looking real comfortable. Mm. Oh, the footsies stand medium kick. Oh yes. Use medium kick. Let me see the cheap stuff. Oh, Ooh, air to air. Getting the air to airs in. Nice. Oh my gosh. Nice V shift. Playing it cool. Oh, nice DP. Confirm here. Okay. A little shimmy attempt. Super Captain Barrison on a pretty nice lead. Pokey's fully stocked though. Mmm, DP already in the V trigger activation. Oh, gets away with it. That overhead was so scary. Ooh, v shift again. V meter's running out. Look at all that gray life there. Oh, what a mm. weird interaction. Works out. Good stuff, Captain Bear, with the uh, awareness to attempt to take his turn in this situation. Oh, huge walk under. Oh, Pokey Nose challenging after that high dive kick. You really got to aim for the toes with those dive kicks. Yeah. Oh, EX dive kick. Uh, disrespecting the fault pressure. Trying to get out of that corner. That's right. Embrace the darkness. Man, I, I would throw one out myself if I had it. Oh, Ooh, the stun built it up. And it looks like just Pokey clutches it out with 2-0 on the board, oh, convincingly. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty dominating show there. But, you know, Captain Bear didn't fall over. I wouldn't say it was free, but... That was pretty good from Pokey. Um, really good awareness of, uh, you know, the situations against Cammy, right? Uh, dealing with the, the high dive kicks. Um, pretty decent awareness versus Seth as well. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty good show. Uh, but shout outs to Captain Super Bear. Uh, not out of it yet. Moving on to the lower bracket, uh, or what we call in the fighting game community, the loser's bracket. Uh, down there in the shark-infested waters, uh, there are piranhas. The water is actually made out of acid, and the sharks have lasers on their foreheads. Good luck. Uh, you're still in the <laughs> tournament, though. Uh, see how far you get to go. Uh, but there are anyone in the loser's bracket, absolute killer. All right, so next up, we got Drunk Monkey and Shinakuma. Oh, okay, okay. Shinokuma PC, uh, obviously playing Akuma on a personal computer. Uh, Drunk Monkey, uh, the Nash player, right? Oh, he has Cody now. Okay. Mm. Okay, I see how it is. You name Try yourself to... Super Akuma and you choose Cody. No, that's Sober Monkey. Oh, okay, okay. Sober Monkey? Yeah, he's sobering up now. Is this like some lore... Like Cody gets sobered up, he becomes the mayor, he puts on the suit. I could potentially, yeah. Or drunk monkey's not drunk anymore. Mm. What what care like do you really pick Nash if your username is drunk monkey? Right, like, like uh, I need to pick a name that strikes fear into the heart of my enemies. I'll choose drunk monkey. Right, like is that a Nash pick? Maybe I'm feeling like <laughs> you know that's, that does have some Nash energy to it. I was about to say I was about to say like Drunk Monkey is like a Sagat username. Like if Sagat played Street Fighter, that might be a name he would pick. But I'm like nah. Drunk with power. Yeah. All right, Cody versus Akuma. Uh, if it is indeed Cody versus Akuma, this is a slightly favorable matchup for Cody, I believe. Uh, depending on what kind of loadout Cody chooses, right? Obviously, if you choose Criminal Sway, it absolutely negates a lot of uh, fireball options. And 
if you time it properly, you can negate a lot of demon flip shenanigans. Yeah, that's true. And as we know uh, from Full Bar Friday history, Shinakuma loves his demon flip pressure. Mm-hmm. He was just, it's like he's making pancakes. He's just flipping. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we'll have to see how Drunk Monkey does. Getting into the match. Oh, he, okay. So he does indeed go with the Nash. Uh, still not really a bad pick. Little, probably more of an even matchup. Uh, Nash, V skill one. He can absorb projectiles. His anti airs are pretty decent. Oh, nice. Sorry, getting some a little zoning here. Yeah, some plasma is being thrown. Akuma got to be careful throwing that red fireball. Uh, it is a little bit slow. Nash can't flip over it, but it's not going to matter if we're in the corner. Oh, punish the sweep with the with the with the sweep himself. Nice. Definitely, fears. definitely Shinokuma knows his punishes against Nash. Oh, the Tatsu over the Sonic Boom. Okay. Oh. Wow, challenge the EX. Uh, Flip with medium kick in that situation. Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. Something... He probably just knows. <laughs> let me see it again. Let me let, let, let me see it again. <laughs> I, I need to I need to set up my replay again. Okay. Super monkey. Corner pressure. Oh, Ooh. Nice. he's reaching. Nash is teaching. A little bit of a setup. No punish on the demon teleport. Big lead here. Aaron Air Fireball gets punished back in the corner. Shinokuma is fully stocked. Down one EX. Red Bar of Courage is still available, though. Even flip throw. Activation station. Dizzy is building. Oh, the stun built up. It's unfortunate. Just want to get that to jump. critical card to take the game. Akuma one on the board. Akuma wins. But yeah, this show, it was show. He was showing a lot of dominance in the in the corner range. Uh, Silver Monkey was got caught hitting a few buttons and was not able to capitalize. Got counter hitted. And um, yeah, Silver Monkey probably gonna have to take a few drinks. Yeah, let's let's get Drunk Monkey out here. Let's loosen it up a little bit. Let's uh let, let's see something. Swinging away, Sobot kick. The uh, size 11 Timberland boots, purple laces. Ooh, out of the corner. Oh, nice cross up. That was a very deep jump in too. Oh. Uh. Man, the dancing, the the walk speed of Akuma is crazy. Even though Akuma is on rollerblades, yeah. Nash, Nash doesn't even have kneecaps. I don't even know how he walks around like that. Akuma, he's on roller skates. <laughs> he doesn't have kneecaps. <laughs> oh, Perry Antair gets punished. This is this could be it. Yeah, getting that critical art to to take that round definitely needs it for for sure. A wise decision. Spend it to end it. Right. Uh, Shinokuma, you know, a little bit of a wild card. He's got the full bar. He might he might wild out. You don't want to take that risk, get into another scramble situation. Wise choice. Spend at the end. Of oh, the dance in and out. I love I love the shimmy game from Drunk Monkey. Really making Nash look, uh, look as if he may potentially have kneecaps uh, with the way he's <laughs> using his movement. But do do not be fooled. Nash is an incredibly immobile character. It's very difficult to schmoove Ooh. around him. Speaking <laughs> of schmoovin', the schmoovement, the teleport. Okay, Nash Drunk Monkey coming on the board with a very peculiar cross-up situation. 
man, that was <laughs> okay. It got right. me got me a little hype there. <laughs> that was pretty good. Like liking liking what I'm seeing. Louisiana's own oh. drunk monkey. Oh, okay, okay. Where rocking that purple and gold. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. Representing yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. LSU Tigers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh City. my god. Got caught reaching. Sober monkey smelling blood here. It's not over though. Full bar. Oh, FADC. You know it's coming. They call it the Red Bar of Courage for a reason. Oh, punish on the V ship? Oh, he knows. Mm. Drunk monkey knows. Yo. Oh, drunk monkey. He's going to do that forward heavy kick. Oh, oh. drunk monkey. Okay, Shinokuma stemming the bleeding here, uh, making a comeback. Round two. It's not over yet, though. Pretty even match so far. Oh yeah, it's been it's been very close. You'd love to see it. Ooh, Dizzy is building. Oh, the empty jump low, trying to catch him slipping. Retreating, letting that stun go down. Got 74 seconds on the clock. Has to do some work here. Oh, nice parry. Oh, out of the corner, but not this time. But Shinokuma chases him down. Combo for the finish. Two to one, Shinokuma victory. Pretty good match, though. I like that. Yo, we got like $7.50 on the Macharino. Ooh. Is that exclamation point Macharino in the chat where you can claim the code for 25 cents of the prize pool? Is that that match arena? Yeah. Oh, Caesar coming in with that five dollars. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Appreciate it. Exclamation, mate. Exclamation point, match arena in the chat. Claim the code. Do the sponsor quest. Shout outs to uh, shout outs to Caesar for the big five. Uh, you know, get these get these players some of that uh, Waterburger money. I, I hear that's what they call it around here. The Macharino is paid out to the top three competitors uh, in the bracket. Like that every week, all week. All right, so I'm looking for Red Comets. Com oh, Comet PC. Oh, is this the legendary? Is this the fabled Balrog versus Ryu match? I think so. Oh, golly. All right. We gotta we gotta find Maticus. Is Maticus in the in the chat? Yeah, did he check in? Did I he, don't know. Did he, did he check in? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Is his is his username the same on Discord <laughs> and on Challenge? All right. Oh, okay. Sh Shao Kahn Perfect. had to enter his own tournament. About to roast the hell out of this Maticus guy, bro. I'm about to <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell all right, you. I'll right. tell you what. <laughs> all, right. all right. I think I send the invite. Yep. From Japan, I got to switch inputs here. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's, I have two. Mo I have a two here. monitor setup. <laughs> all right. There we go. All right. Red Comet on Ryu. Uh, Red Comet has participated in a few Full Bar Fridays so far. Uh, absolutely a Ryu player. Don't don't I'm gonna mute. any. Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Can't hear me roasting them. About to roast the ever living, ever living bubkiss out of this guy here. All right, so first, uh, Balrog is hella cheap, all right? And he's hella cheap versus no, he's not. Ryu. Yes, he is. Absolutely. Balrog is hella cheap, right? Rush punch for free, light rush punch, space, impossible to punish, can't react, hella gray health, and he just KKB 50-50 into La Muerte, all right? 
Balrog, absolutely a comeback machine. Uh, dominates projectile users. His V-Trigger, he's got the command grab V-Trigger on, if I'm not mistaken. That's also hella cheap. Why would they give Balrog a command grab? I mean, look at this. We're already in the corner. Look at the pressure. You can't do nothing. You can't do no. You can't do Ryu. This is like a 7-3 matchup, right? Nah, this is like a 9-1 matchup. Look, he, he, armor? Armor? Come on. What is that, like frame three? That's cheap. <sighs> you, you, you hate to see it. I mean, he's got the red shoes, too. Oh, come on, Ryu, you don't even have shoes, bro. Look at you. You're beating up the karate hobo in your Louis Vuitton suit with your golden gloves. I don't know about this. Look at this. We're already in the corner. Okay, jump out. Come on, Red Comet. Come on, man. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Here we go. You got to fight for the little guy, Red Comet. Hold him in the corner. Oh, bro, down medium punch? That move is like negative two frame startup. What is this? Cheat. Yo, why Raw got so much health? Why is he still alive? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's cheap. Activation makes it safe. Oh, he's command grab. Come on. He gets Oki too. Cheap. Red Comet is fighting for his life right now. Activate EX. Okay, push him away. Choose to go in. Look, anti air on both sides. Bro, who needs a DP? Who needs a DP when you got standing medium punch? You Come on. Win. Disgusting. Disgusting. Look at that. No sportsmanship. Uppercut the cameraman? Come on. What'd the cameraman do to you, man? Ugh. You hate to see it. Anyway, going into game two. Did I tell you how cheap Rog was? <laughs> oh, a little bit of an errant donkey kick there. Miss punish on the rush punch. Extra cheap. Look at look at Ryu. Ryu is just living in fear right now. He can't throw a fireball. He just KKB around a fireball. Okay, red bar of courage, both sides. Cheap. 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 Ooh, huge jump in. Overhead hits, connects with the low. One touch. Okay, Red Comet struggling for his life, overcoming the odds. Overcoming the odds, getting a victory. I mean, this is a statistical wonder right here. Uh, Rog is incredibly cheap. Ryu getting a win? Sheesh. Okay, it's not over yet though. Ooh, three frame, three frame on into a target combo? Come on, bro. Look at that, look at this. Okay, Red Comet looking a little bit more comfortable here now. V-Shift, ooh, get parried, okay. Again, ooh, parry is an anti-air attempt. Oh, no punish on that overhead there. Red bar of courage for Red Comet. Maticus almost on a red bar himself. Oh, missed anti-air. This could be it. No activation, though. One more touch. Activate. Pressure City. Back throw. EX. Red Comet staying alive against the odds, winning the negative 10 million to one matchup. Red Comet PC fighting against Balrog, the cheapest character to ever exist in Street Fighter V. That's right. Ryu, Ryu says it all. Boxers definitely punch hard, but whatever Balrog is doing is cheap as hell. That's right, Ryu. Ryu knows. All right, game game three, one one on the board. This is a first two two match. Red comments found something that's working with those jump ins. Pressure City overhead hits counter hit. Gets his punish on the rush punch this time. Ooh, parry. Ooh, minor punish on the target combo. Maticus. Not looking phased, though. Still in it. KKP through the fireball. That's hella cheap. Balrog still alive. Three frame wake up. Command grab time. Oh, he missed. Oh, the vertical shimmy. Maticus on the ropes. Red Comet PC 
Again, a statistical wonder somehow coming out on top against the cheapest character to ever exist with honorable Ryu, the man on the box, the karate hobo himself, just chilling. Fireballs and uppercuts. Well, actually, we're talking jump forward plus target combo. Oh, there's the jump forward again. Counter hit. No convert. Atticus backing up. Target combo. Activation station. Oki time. Chillin'. Maintaining space. Surprise EX. We're in the corner now. Don't get hit. Actually, just block. Command grab city. Anti-air. Keeping himself out of the loser's bracket. One round to go. The final round. Balrog versus Ryu. David versus Goliath. Galloping forward into that three frame. Balrog converting three frame light kick into target combo. Standing medium punch anti air. Ryu down half health. V shift sweep. V shift. Moving forward. Oh, parry anti air. It worked out this time. Pressure in the corner. The red bar of courage is available. Activation station. Ooh, tick throw this time. One touch. Ryu. Ryu gets a counter hit. No convert. The conversion. KKB, hella cheap. The bar is running down. Maticus no longer in V-Trigger mode. One EX. Ryu, nothing on the board. Full screen EX low. Watch your toes. You thought you could exist in the same world as me? You thought you could exist in the same world as me? I'm Balrog. This is what cheapness looks like. Full screen low. Try to react. Just try to react, bud. God, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. An absolutely just disgusting display of just privilege and opportunity afforded to you by the developer. Talking about the cheap stuff. It is what it is. Wins. It is what it is. You know what? I respect it. I respect it. You want to win? You want to enter this tournament? You got to beat Maticus first. You want to enter this tournament, Red Comet? This is what this tournament's about. Check, hold this EX low. <laughs> Jeez. Good games, though. Good games. Uh, it was a competitive match. Red Comet not out of it yet. Uh, moving down to the lower bracket. Uh, he will have to face the loser of match five which i believe is the daywalker and sam strafe match uh, godspeed young red comet uh you know i hope you survive the acid waters and the sharks with lasers and the piranhas down there in the lower bracket maticus moving on in his own damn tournament with the cheap characters it is what it is it is what it is So who, who, who we got coming up next? Let's see here. Got round two winners. We got Luka Donick versus Espada. Uh, Espada taking it over John 256, two to one. Uh, that would have been an interesting match to see. Got Shinakuma going up against Siberian. Uh, Siberian, the Geef player. Uh, one of the only remaining Geef players in existence. We got Giyu PC versus Pokey. Extremely high level battle right there. And then we are waiting for the resolution of Daywalker versus Sam Strafe. Daywalker, a.k.a. Integra, the Ken player. Uh, pretty powerful Ken player. Uh, Sam Strafe. Uh, see, with, see if uh, Luca and, mm. and uh, Spotter are playing. I see, I see. Sam Strafe. Uh, I do not remember who Sam Strafe plays. But I'm sure we will find out. Today's bracket, a uh, little, little, little tight, right? Little, little close knit bracket today, uh, but that you know, it's always killers. Spotted Twitch are, TV. Uh, you know, I got, I gotta say, if you're enjoying Full Bar Friday, uh, do not forget about the Matcherino code. Yes, don't, don't forget about that, guys. Uh, it is. I don't know how many codes are left, but there's still plenty of them. You if there are codes left, it's too many. Too many. It's exclamation point Macherino. Sign up 
do the thing you know how to do it claim the code 25 cents if you're feeling generous put some money in the prize pool get some people some whataburger money or if you got more than 30 seconds you could do the sponsor quests you know you follow somebody on twitter you go look at a youtube channel uh, you know if you really want it you could just do that and then like contribute to the pot and then unfollow them later so it doesn't clutter up your feed but don't tell anybody that i said that because that would totally kind of anyway you could do that donate to the pot uh, get the top three players uh, additional payout this tournament. Um, support your full bar Friday. Uh, you know, they'd be putting in work here. Maticus definitely doesn't put in work in Street Fighter V because he plays hella cheap characters. But he puts in hella work running full bar Friday uh, for over two years now. Man. This is the 16th full bar Friday of this year as well. Already busting I mean, me, huh? I can see how it is. Hey, man, all I'm saying... All I'm saying is uh, running tournaments, not easy. Playing Balrog, it's hard. I don't have a fireball. I don't have a cross up. I don't have a DP. Uh, who needs a DP? I got to play. I got to play cool. honest. Wait, wait. Honest. All right. Honest. Honestly, cheap. And, 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 <laughs> and luck out on it on an EX dash low, you know, man, but on react. Unreact. The only person with a cheaper EX dash low is G, right? I mean, if, if you're comparing yourself to the hella cheap characters, you gotta be cheap. Let's be real. Alright. Daywalker is not here, so we'll move okay, on. Okay, okay. I'll have to fight Sam Strafe later. Such is the way of the net play tournament. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, speaking of cheap... Speaking of cheap, we got Espada on Luke. Luke Adonic probably going to be going with the Akira pick. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Karen pick against Luke. Uh, Karen, you know, still struggles against Luke like many characters, but probably less so than Akira. We'll have to see how uh, Marv, a.k.a. Luca, is feeling yeah. tonight. Um depending on you know your ability and your comfort right uh, but yeah luke hella cheap luke is the strongest character in the game right now we're seeing luke versus akira akira mm, you know a little bit debated about her position relative to the other characters but uh you know she's no slump uh chump either slump oh, chump <laughs> yeah some n no slump chump oh huge forward dash Already playing that solid mid-range footsies, throwing out those medium punch, medium kicks. We are, in fact, playing the neutral. They have that in Street Fighter V? Neutral game? They have that? Oh, look at that whiff punish. Okay, they got that. All right. Okay, Espada. All right. Definitely have footsies for sure. Mmm. Got the, tar th got the car target combo. Makes a safe activation station. Ooh, converts the crush counter. We're in the corner now. So get that Whataburger attack too off you. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a save. Ooh. Chipping it out. A smart decision. Uh, when you are activated in V trigger mode, you cannot V reversal. Uh, Luka Donick paying well and good attention to the resources there. Pulling out game one, spending it to end it. All right, it's not, not, it's not your turn. Ooh, ooh, low forward. Okay. Getting close to the corner here. Not somewhere you want to be, but Espada getting a little happy with those charged up punches there. Nice DP. Luca knows. Oh, Shimmy not having it. He pressed down jab. Oh, punishable. Alright, activation station. Well, one touch either way. Back throw. Could see another chip out situation. A spotter needs to keep the pressure on. Here it is. Oh, going for chip. Mmm, that's gone. unfortunate. Very aware. Luca, he knows. This guy, he Akira. plays Street Fighter V. He's played this game a couple times before. Luke? Who is that? That's how I first met him. 
Street Fighter uh, Five. Street Fighter Five. Early Street Fighter Five. We talking season one? Season, season one. Yeah, we were going. Season one. one. Ooh, okay. Back when back when I was young and spry and played a lot. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, I remember those days. Yeah. Well, not those days, but I can relate. <laughs> Speaking of relation here, uh, both players kind of color coordinated. Red outfits. Okay. Playing that patient fireball game, trying to keep Akira out. I like I like how he's just walking and blocking, trying to close in. Yeah, Luca does an extremely good job of choosing his options, right? He, he'll he look for one or two situations he wants, and then that's what he's going for. Elsewise, mm -hmm. he's mitigating the risk, right? He knows all he needs is one or two touches. He's got a little bit of an uphill battle here, though. Getting in on Luke, not easy. Full screen shoulder. He has the red bar of courage. Oh, back throw. Definitely intended for a forward throw there. Resetting the position back to mid screen. Rough. No. We punching. We punching a lot. Punching the air. 16 seconds on the board. Kuma safe taken. Thanks for the 31 months. Nine seconds on the clock. Running. Months, that's a lot of time. Not a lot of time left in this match, though. Oh, red. Mm, not enough time. I like how Spada played that. Played the played to the clock. Both these players absolutely using the game mechanics to their advantage. This is a high-level match. Spada understanding how to play the clock. Luca. Definitely showing everyone how to deal with resource expenditure there. Oh, nice air to air prevents the jump out, but a little bit of a barre from the Spada. Jab, jab, pressure city. Oh, huge whiff punish. They got those in this game? Hey, man, yeah. I've been playing since season one. I told you. Oh, they call that footsies? Oh, punish here. Chooses not to spend the meter. Back throw, getting close to the corner. That back throw does so much damage. Oh wow, nice. Threw out the got the sandblaster V trigger. That is right. Oof. Ooh, nice conversion. Looking like it's gonna be one-one. We got a match here. You know, every match tonight has been a match. Yeah. Let's go. Let's 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 this is full bar Friday. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta we gotta show gotta show the stops. We gotta see who's gonna do well at Evo. This is Evo practice. Oh, I see. Alright. Okay, this is Evo practice. Alright. You love to see it. Uh, man, there's gonna be a lot of Luke's at Evo. Yep. I'm ready for it. <laughs> you know, I, I am of the opinion. I am of the opinion that if you want to win, part of being skillful is picking the best option available. Let's go. If you pick and Luke, you you know what's good. If you pick and Luke, you're doing the right thing. Let's be real. Luke, uh, Akira, who is that? Ryu, who is that? Balrog? Nah. You got to pick Luke. Akuma? Nah. Akuma's old. It's Luke time. Let's go. It's all turning up Luke. Look at this pressure. He gets a throw after EX? Bruh. That's called right. top tier privilege. Or commentator's curse. <laughs> Yo, come on, Luke. Yo, let me let me let me see a Luke round right now. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see like everything turn up, Luke. I'm trying to see some ridiculous. Bro, his standing short reaches so far. Did anyone else see that block string? Mmm. Bruh. Stand medium kick. That's a god button from Luke. Oh, he's got a DP too. Oh, a little bit of a missed throw. Luca converting. Okie time. Back throw into the corner. Good positioning here. I do Luka's like still willing. I do like Luca's throw game. Like he, he, 
He sneaks in the throws like you're not expecting them. Yeah, he's maximizing his throw opportunities. He's not afraid to take his time. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, they don't want to do throws oh, because Santa. you don't really get to follow up. But Luca, not afraid to take his time. Ooh. Okay. Spicy. That uh, Ooh. that that tiger knee fireball was kind of slick. Oh, damn! He press jab makes himself safe. Press jab again. Oh no! With punish. Twenty one seconds. Yo, Luca, Luca has the life lead now. Let me see something ridiculous. Oh, chooses to spend it. Chipping it away. Wow! Oh. Nice DP. He ain't got to do nothing. Yes, that's right. The dark side. Let me see it. All right, let's go. You'll love to see it. Look at that. Look at that. I'm playing Luke. Look at me. And you say Balrog's cheat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Rog? Rog is cheap, okay? Overhead, full screen EX, right? Unreactable stuff, okay? That's cheap. Luke? Luke is just good, bro. <laughs> Luke is a he's he's so good. Luke is so cheap that he's ascended. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't even grasp how cheap he is. He's just on a different plane of existence. That was a an excellent match. Shout outs to both competitors there. Uh Espada taking it over Luke. Uh, AKA Marv. But Luke Donick not out of the tournament yet. Uh, going down loser's bracket uh, with the Sharks down there. Gonna have to probably face against Red Comet. We'll see how that goes. Uh, up next, we are probably looking for Siberian versus Shinakuma. Potential Zangief sighting. Uh, shout outs to Geef and the negative three Geef players on the planet. You know, Geef players. Geef players are always the happiest people you ever meet, right? Like you meet a Geef player and they're just like the most jovial, nicest people. And then you play against a Geef player and they play like an absolute scuzzball. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inverse relationship. The 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 word like the more dirty a Geef player a player plays, the like nicer a person they are, right? All right, so we got Siberian versus um That's funny. Siberian versus Shinakuma PC. Shinakuma uh, potentially not practicing for Evo because he is playing on PC. As we all know, Evo played on the PlayStation 4. Uh, if you are unaware, there is a slight difference between the game on PlayStation 4 and PC. If you are a top tier competitor, you're really trying to emulate the tournament environment as much as possible, so you'd be playing on PS4, right? right just a little, 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 little tidbit, little tidbit. Speaking of, speaking of speaking, so we got this, that, this uh, we got this match and then we got my match and then we'll should be on uh winner's top eight or top four. I heard that uh that Siberian guy, I heard he streams. He streams? I heard that, yeah. It's uh this is a little bit of a double stream situation here. S simultaneously streaming. Simultaneously streaming. Does Shinakuma PC stream? Yes? I want to say yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We'd have a triple stream here. Espada streams, Marvin streams, everyone streams. What, was Espada streaming at this moment? Apparently he has a first of five with a with the Chinese CPT winner. Oh, I see. <laughs> Interesting. Clearly he's but. in a tournament that he needs to play in, but you know. <laughs> We're talking uh Talking, uh, you know, standard net play stuff. Standard. Full bar Friday, not immune. People be like, yo, let me play in this tournament, but also this tournament and this tournament too. 
But then like my homie hit me up three weeks ago and he was like, yo, you wanna play games? So now is the time I'm gonna say like, yes. Okay, all right, Siberian. I see you, Siberian. An absolute rebel and a madman picking the dojo stage. That's a big dinosaur. Jeez, oh. He's got a submarine back there. He's a he's father time. I see. Zangief. Time traveling from the 80s with that outfit. This matchup traveling to the corner, getting an SPD here. Uh oh. Ah uh, yes. Shinokuma using the universal language of fighting game players, the light, 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 light. Uh, oh, this is stage lag, I guess. Yeah, to express some technical malfunctions. We all know how it is. Gonna get the TO on this. Now, despite the popular belief that training mode is the only stage in the game. The Insane Asylum is, in fact, one of many stages you can choose. Mm -hmm. Now, generally, we find Street Fighter players, they want to be competitive, they want the most optimized play possible, so they pick the stage that has the clearest visibility and the least potential for net play delay, uh, which is the training stage. But... That uh, isn't always the case, as we can see here, Siberian picking the dojo stage. So not all stages are treated fairly in this game, but... Uh... That is true. That is true, but they're playing it out. Yeah. <laughs> Shinokuma, so accustomed to net play, he's like, yo, do you, is, can we play on a different stage? Is it... Is it is, Calling, catching him off guard, just like that SPD there. Now, uh, as far as I understand it, the potential lagginess of a stage is dependent on the amount of moving objects in the background mm. and the capabilities of each player's machine. Right. So that's uh, a lot. That's we, a lot of factors there. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, a whole, a whole, a whole lot of them, you know. But as we have discussed, we can see that uh, Siberian is in fact a elite Twitch streamer. Shinokuma also known to stream on Twitch, meaning that they have computers capable of streaming the game and playing it. I'm absolutely sure that both players can handle the dinosaur in the background. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, you know, dinosaurs, mainly lag is on the PlayStation 4, but, you know, fret not, because we have an excellent option select for young Shinokuma. If he were to lose this match, he could simply claim it was the stage, bro. <laughs> That, Siberian that, that works going too. You know, it's it's a win-win either way. Uh, Siberian going one up, uh, potentially, you know, pulling the sportsman-like decision, choosing the training stage. We'll have to see. Yo, I hope I hope he picks like Dalsim stage and then picks Yellow Zangief, so you can't see him. Like just the absolute most disgusting stage technology possible. Really, all I want to see is chaos. Welcome to chaos. I just want to see absolute tomfoolery. All right, so Siberian's up game one. Uh, this two out of three set. Let's see. We are on the training stage now. We can make no excuses. Siberian... You know, as much as we were talking a little bit of uh, talking a little bit of that jazz about 
the stage selection, Siberian actually showed pretty good reactions to dealing with Demon Flip. Right? We saw some air SPDs, we saw some armor usage, we saw some well-timed Lariat. Right? Siberian knows what he's doing. He is, in fact, no slouch. Oh, nice anti-air. In, already in the corner. Double grabs. Okay, we got throw loops. Into demon flip throws. Oh, the jab, jab, jab. Shinokuma turning maybe, up the temperature. Maybe it's the edge that he needs. It might be. So, shit, we got training stage now. It's my time. Your time is up. Oh, not dissuaded. Burying a little bit antsy on the defense. Shinokuma taking advantage. Mmm. Ooh, big counter hit. Perfect KO. Was it really the stage? There you mm. go. Perhaps. It could have been the stage selection. Shinokuma, uh, insane play maximized in the insane asylum. Training stage power up. It's like a... What do they call that show? Dragon Ball Z, where they go into the training stage? Precisely, yes. We're approaching the corner here. Oh, need to change it up. Those Demon Flip grabs really paying dividends. Forward dash into reversal wake up grab. Can't teleport out of that. No Oki off that SPD though. Big parry. Oh, the red fireball throwing off the, the timing of the jump. Ooh, got caught. Shinokuma, full red bar of courage. Oh, Ooh, God. Chase. He knows. Yo, he knows. he's dead. He's got Oki. Oh, he doesn't need it. Match point Siberian. This is this is the chaos I want to see. Bro, huge jump and counter hit. Akuma, low health character. EX, he's got Oki off this. Could see an EX DP. There's no DP. Stun is building. Oh, huge block. He's chilling. No anti-air, but he presses jab anyway. Activation station. Pressure city. Demon flip. Throw attack. Bruh! Mm -hmm. Siberian has such a commanding lead right now. V-shift. Oh, he's gonna counter him. Oh, he's oh. Watch out, wake up, grab. Please. Please, for the... Oh. Oh. Oh, he can, he can jab it. He can jab throw here. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, Shinokuma Smart stabilized. Stuff. Oh, no, he did not stabilize. He went for the demon flip. Siberian knows how to deal with that. Man, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But that's the kind of chaos I want to see. <laughs> oh, golly. All right. All right. That so I got to fight uh, Sam Strafe. That is a wild, wild match right there. Shout out to Siberian. Moving on in the winner's bracket, earning himself the opportunity to fight against Espada. Uh, Shinokuma not out of it yet, though. Uh, let's remember, Shinokuma is often deep in the full bar Friday brackets. Uh, going down to the loser's bracket, he will have to face against Super Captain Kuma. Uh, potentially fighting against Kami, potentially fighting against a Seth. Either way, that'll be a good match. Uh, not out of it yet. All right. I'm up. Wish me All luck, right. guys. Uh, spear bomb energy for young Maticus here. Gonna have to go against oh Sam Strait Laura. using Laura. Okay, so we have Laura versus Charge Laura. That's right, Balrog. Basically, Charge Laura. I mean, come on. They got. They gave him a command grab. He's got the overhead. That character is hella cheap, bro. Look at look. Look, the gloves are made out of chainmail, man. Is that even legal? Can he bring those to a street fight? In this, you can. Mm. Hella cheap. 
game. And the master, man. Street Fighter, man, it's just, you, man, you ain't got no, just play, play the game, Maddox, play the game, you fine, you fine. No character's help you, your character's help you. Round one. So, Rog, uh, historically, a character that struggles against grapplers, Laura, uh, has a few command grabs. Okay, Pressure City. Oh, nice anti-air from Laura there. Mixed time. Ooh, stun is building. Big blocking. One up for Sam Strafe. Ooh, huge sweep there. No punish though. Now we see fighting against Laura, one of the biggest determiners of whether or not it's gonna be an easy battle is your character and your player ability to deal with the thunderclap. Laura throwing out that projectile can be extremely menacing. Uh, characters that have an easy time dealing with that often have an easy time dealing with Laura. Players who have an easy time dealing with that often have an easy time dealing with Laura. Oh, we see Maticus getting himself one on the board here. Not falling over to the mix master Laura Masuda. Doing the cheap Balrog stuff. Oh, huge overhead trade in the corner already. Counter hit. Sam Strafe still pressing, gets the throw. Pressure with the Thunderclap. EX Rush. Maticus sitting on a lead. Sam Strafe almost on a full red bar of courage here. Oh, fully charged Thunderclap, just eating up the screen space, pushing towards the corner. Activation station, time for mix. B shift. Oh, overhead. Nice throw text, surprise EX into overhead, but no convert. Chillin. Maticus just waiting it out, he needs one touch. Oh, a little bit missed space. Laura plus frames on the thunderclap. Oh, huge anti-air. Oh, the mix. A little bit of a scramble at the end. Sam Strafe going up one on the board. Maticus close, but no dice. Sam Strafe showing us that Laura can too be cheap. Now it'll be interesting to see here how uh, how our boy Maticus makes adjustments in this match. Sam Strafe kind of kind of sitting a little bit pretty. Uh, really, he is taking the initiative in this match, setting the pace. He's saying like, "Hey, I'm gonna throw out the thunderclap. You're gonna have to deal with it, right?" Here's me controlling the screen. I'm making you react, right? Oh, okay, heavy rush. Sam, not afraid to contest. There again, we see they're contesting. Oh, Mix City, three frames, get off me. EX low, it's safe. EX low, uh, regular low, just do it, I'm cheap. He's not dead yet. He's got the red bar of courage. Chooses to V-shift. Chased down by the overhead option. Unfortunate. Sam Strafe sitting on match point. See if our hero Maticus can make the comeback here. Oh, big throw. Low. Safely spaced. Oh, Schmick City. Counter hit there. On his building. V shift again into a sweep. Huge. Ooh, thunderclap, thunderclap. Schmixed. Lord's cheap. That's what it feels like to fight against Balrog, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. You know how that feels? You saw that Lord player doing a left, right, up, down. Left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, A, B, start, whatever the hell it is. That's that's what it feels like to play against Rog, bro. That's how it feels. Tell me Rog's not cheap. Let me go ahead and fight John 256P. 
<laughs> Look, all I'm saying is Rog is cheap, Lore is cheap. You might as well just flip a coin. Let's be real here. <laughs> Rog is hella cheap. I disagree. You are entitled to your opinion, my friend. Uh, I will give you that. I mean, uh, you get blow up by Balrog players. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Hey man, I'm over here playing honorable shodos, using fireball, and then they just spin around the fireball. Come on, man! Can't even, can't even counter pick, can't pick guile, can't pick sagat. It's rough out here. Rog is hell it's not, e man. not easy in these streets. I'm about to pick Abigail. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I'm just ready to play a new game. To be Street honest. Fighter Six is coming out. What do you think Rog is going to be in Street Fighter 6? Probably not. Really? I think he's a shoo -in. I think Rog is going to be in Street Fighter 6. He, he fit to be DLC. They're about to do the Guile thing with him. Okay. So Let's get my, get my losers match out of the way. Fight John. I see. Oh, back to back. All right. Extend our hands in the air. Spirit bomb energy for Lord Maticus. Rog is just a grounded Shoto. All right. Look, I have the capability to ban you from this Twitch chat room. I won't. I won't. But I'm just gonna let you know that I could possibly do that. All right. He, he does what have do a gun. Mean? What do you mean, bro? Rog is just a grounded Shoto. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, John, two five six. Oh God! A, uh, a known Honda user. Oh, choosing the crazy rush this time, huh? Okay. Here we go. All right, here we go. Lord Maticus pulling the Mortal Kombat special, participating in his own tournament. Balrog versus E Honda. We see in the chat room, GUPC says these are actually tough matches for Balrog. He is correct. Balrog, known weaknesses against grapplers, and very, very weak versus E Honda. John256. Also known to be quite the aggressive player, he is absolutely willing to bring out all of the shenanigans and test your matchup knowledge. We're going to see hands after hands. We're going to see butt slam. We're going to see EX butt slam, EX headbutt. We'll see everything here, all the Honda tricks. Raw activate into charge up. Okay. Two, five, six. Pressure, EX butt. Fierce hands. Now, one of the things that makes this matchup really tough for Rog is his ability to contest Honda's normal attacks. Uh, Honda, just slightly more range than Rog, uh, makes it really tough for Rog to approach, especially because Honda at any time you know, could light headbutt, right? Honda could throw out something. We also see uh, Honda performing a lot of moves that's kind of tough for Rog to punish, right? Dealing with taking your turn back after Hunter hand slaps, a little bit difficult for Rog. Dealing with the butt slams, also a little bit difficult for Rog. Not impossible, but difficult. Full forward throw, stun is building. John256 acting as the arbiter of justice here. Hands and slams. Putting the cheap characters where they belong in the corner. 
Ooh, not afraid to contest. He is pressing. And pressure. Ooh, stop sign. Dizzy is building. Ooh. He reverse, get that stun down. EX. V shift. Headbutt, no punish. Butt slam. Might be looking at a potential command grab here. Instead, it is EX, butt slam, Good sealing games. it out. Good GG. Games. John256, moving on against our intrepid hero, Maticus. You know, it was a good show. Even though you did pick Balrog, gotta admit, it was good matches. You did, in fact, participate valiantly in Full Bar Friday. Brackets are indeed stacked. Although I will say, as, uh, as things should be, Balrog players uh, eliminated from brackets. They should just... You know what? Look, I'll be real with you. I'll be. I'll lay it out. A lot of people like to be like, yo, if I could go back into time, I would go and like stop some terrible historical event, right? Or like... You know, I would go back in time and discover the origins of my family line. Or like, oh, I would go back in time and I would go play the lottery knowing the winning numbers, right? I'm not doing any of that. If I could go back in time, I'm going back in time and I'm stopping them from creating Balrog. They're not putting him into the game. Street Fighter, Street Fighter 1, Street Fighter 2? No. Nah. If I go back in time, I'm erasing Balrog from existence, bro. It's cheap. Rog is cheap, let's be real. Hella cheap. <laughs> Anyways, we're moving on. Ugh. Sometimes it'd be like a dude. God, that's so yeah. stupid, man. I yeah. hate it. I get yep. <clears throat> It's like, all right, I know he's gonna do butt slam. And then he does butt slam again, and you're just like, bro, he did butt slam. Or it's like, okay, I know. I don't understand that character, and I don't understand Laura. Laura? It's just buttons, 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 mm -hmm. and then it's not your turn. Yeah, that's the thing. If, if, I, if I had to make, make a guess at it, I would say... Uh, the trick to dealing with John 256 is being able to punish EX bus slams. The trick to dealing with Honda is knowing what headbutt is which and how to punish them and in what situation you can contest against hands and versus Laura. Just pick a different character. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But maybe. It's just not worth playing any more of this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Absolutely. All joking aside, I know exactly how you feel. Watch I get banned from Capcom events. Oh, golly. Don't get me started. <laughs> Speaking of getting started, we got Espada pushing Siberian to the corner. We are, in fact, in training stage, as we know... Siberian not in his natural habitat. Siberian is a dojo stage enthusiast. Espada, a little bit of a home field advantage here. Oh, nice uppercut from Espada. Trying to just keep Zangief zoned here. Hey, this is going to be a tough climb for old Geef to deal with a uh, Oh, Luke's projectile game. I'm liking the footsies being played. Just the spot it has better buttons. Hmm. Might get in the throw loop in the corner. Wow, the overhead stun. Bro, the combo. It just keeps going. What was I saying? Luke. Who's cheap? Luke is hella cheap. Did you see that? 
See, that's why Barog needs a gun. Just to give him the shotgun? Give him like a... I would love to see Rog with like... Just like a laser pistol, like a like a ray gun, just like a like a like a Ghostbusters, like a <laughs> a hyper viper. Give him something ridiculous. Uh oh, ooh, anti air there. We are living in the player two corner so far. Raw activate. Nice V reversal. That's pretty smart V reversal right there. Uh, you might go, oh, well, Geef will be minus two. Well, you got a huge lead. Do you really need to activate V trigger? You just get that gray health. All right, match point is spotted. time stays down huge ex these make these these openings work for him sitting pretty on a nice lead here oh, oh wow just walk that, up spd i see you that's how you know he plays zang let's see if he gets another round though Spada still on match point. That is correct. Oh, my God. Respect the one frame. That is correct. Zangief does, in fact, have a one frame, a.k.a. fastest in the game super. It is a one frame grab. What a confirm there. Okay. Blasting through the armor with the critical art. This freaking character. Okay. Ooh, V trigger's going down, not looking good. All right, round that house. is in fact a normal that can anti air Luke forward roundhouse. You know, in retrospect, maybe I said a few things that maybe uh, might not be true. I'm just saying, man. There's a there's far worse characters than Balrog. Maybe. Maybe. A spot of moving on. Siberian moving down into the loser's bracket. Uh, still in it, not out yet. Earning himself the privilege of fighting against the winner of John 256 or just Pokey. So uh, Siberian is going to have a tough road ahead of him, but such is the way in the loser's bracket. Up next, we're going to get Sam Strafe versus Giyu PC. It's going to be a Laura versus Jury, potentially. Uh, I just want to hide. I just want to hide in a hole right now. Something, something waifus, something, something. Hey man, when I'm when we, when we gonna get them Balrog body pillows? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm tripping. But speaking of merchandise, we do have full bar shirts available. That is right. Uh, shout outs to Never Knows Best making the new logo. Um, but we also have the Salt Boss T-shirt. If you want my face on your shirt being salty pick salt up boss. the shirt salt boss is sick let's be real but uh that emote has got like you can get your own salt boss emote on a shirt you got salt boss stickers that would I, be sick i believe so but Ooh. check out check out that store Support support your boys, uh, Full Bar Esports. Uh, 
The contribution goes to Full Bar Live, which is happening September 25th. Um, trying to raise up to get some pot bonuses going for that event. So we'll be, be you'll be cool. hearing more information about that after Evo. Uh, so, and also, if you haven't signed up yet, if you live close by, be sure to do that. Ah, crap. FBL. Uh, uh, so it, 25th? so it will help out with me scheduling the event. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, looking forward to hanging out with everyone. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. That's a uh, September twenty fifth, Denton, Texas, Full Bar Live. Uh, sign up, sign up now. Well, then. All right, we got GUPC Sam Strafe. We got yeah, Sam's. We got school attire. <laughs> is this a is this a school attire or is this like a biker? What is this? It's like the high school bully trench coat oh, thing. The, the, the Yankee outfit. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm hip. I'm hip. I've seen a VTuber before. I know about this. <laughs> Man, the f just keeping Laura locked down, not being able to use those thunderclaps when needed. That is uh, critical. We can see Giyu overall in this match maintaining a specific distance from Laura. That distance that Giyu is standing at enables him to deal with the Thunderclap on reaction, but is outside of Laura's crouching medium kick range, mm -hmm. which means that he can either respond with his own button when Laura approaches, or when she throws the thunderclap, but Sam Holy Strafe responding crap. with the perfect. He says, "Ah, yeah, you know the matchup, but do you know about these 50-50s? Hold this." Final round. You can have all the matchup knowledge in the world, but when Laura dashes in on you, it's time to guess. I like the throw setups here. Oh, Ooh. the jump in cross up, nasty. Smart cross up, getting a little close to the corner, chooses to give himself a good position. Oh, nice fireball read. Mm -mm -mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. The shenanigans are real right now. Oh, what? Ooh. Okay. Overhead, right? So, so if if Sam tries to do anything that isn't um, EX... No, if Sam tries to do anything, that will touch him. And if he blocks, Giyu could activate V-Trigger. So Giyu just continuing a pretty solid pressure sequence oh there. Sam trying to wriggle out of it. No right. dice. You jump out. Oh, what a conversion! Night, night. Dizzy City. Oh, Sam, a bar right out. Get you not having it. He knows, interrupts the thunderclap. Good anti-air from the medi uh, medium kick. Jury. Is, Jury is not inverse bow roll, right? She definitely has punch. Like, light punch is a punch, right? Am I tripping? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Stand heavy punch, okay. Oh, okay, Sam. Mm. Oh, crush counter, nice. Oh, okay, significant EX use here. What's the Oki? Just goes for the hard kick. No shenanigans. Oh, the conversion. Oh! Let's not get... 
was not able to get the feng shui to happen. But already uh, getting all these. Uh... Okay, Yu is fully stocked. Yeah. 2-0. Giyu. Okay, okay. All right, Sam. Still in it. Shouts to Sam Strafe. Giyu PC. Moving on in the winner's bracket. Sam going down to the loser's bracket. Still in it. Interesting there. We saw the rare V-Trigger 1 from Giyu PC. Uh, Giyu kind of notable for his V-Trigger 2 usage. All right, let's get Shinokuma and just or uh, Luca. All right, we got is that a is that a young is that a young sevens underscore underscore emote in the chat? All right, I see you taking the gamble. Luka Dantich and Shinokuma. Let's see. Luka. Probably still going with the Akira. Shinokuma. I wouldn't see why not. Always on the Kuma. Again, guys, this is week 16 of Full Bar Friday. Hope everyone's enjoying the matches. We have the Matcherino. Be sure to claim those. Also, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your mom's dog. Tell your mom's dog's girlfriend. Claim the code. Explanation Matcherino in the chat. You see the link. The link is in there. Click it. Claim the code. It takes 30 seconds. You got 30 more seconds. Do the sponsor quest. You're feeling particularly generous. You can donate directly to the prize pool. Prize pool goes out to the top three players tonight. So get that water burger money. I think there are some water burgers hitting different locations now. What from what really? I yeah, they expanding, huh? Spending out of Texas. Ooh. Yeah, water burger is cool, but uh, tell me, you know about that Wawa? Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. Alex, did I see Alex? Wait a minute. Oh, Luke. Okay. Oh, yes. That's right. Embrace the dark side. <laughs> Do it. You know he's the most powerful. You know you could pick him and win. Embrace the dark side. Do it. Do it. Do it. Screw it. Do it. <laughs> you know... It's p possible that Luca just does not like the Akira um, Akuma matchup. Uh, Shoto's can be a little bit tricky to deal with. Akuma, probably most so. Hey, man, he's trying to get ready for Evo, so you got to get that Luke. Bro, on. if you're going to Evo. Got to have a side pocket playing. Luke. Nah, you need a main Luke. If you're going to Evo and you're not playing Luke, you need to reconsider why you're going to evo you need to pick look at this that's right yes pick luke full charge knuckle bro where's your combo it's okay though you might not die you can still activate play luke oh yo counter. meaty yo, low medium punch come on you Man. know better than that luca bruh oh my god the cross up tatsu BR, UH, Akuma does indeed have a single hit cross up hurricane kick. Oh, potential uppercut input error there. Oh, Luka, ooh, Shinokuma gets away with that on a lot of people. Yeah. That teleport right there. Uh, you really gotta be ready and aware. A little bit of a matchup knowledge test. Fireball pressure it's starting to add up. Ooh, DP. Full punish. Huge. He's done. No, he's not done. Luca. Make himself safe. Okay. 
that was almost games are tied this is only game one looking at some good matches tonight he just walked up a medium kick that oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes I was like man just throw it out there the dark side two absolutely evil characters on the screen right now you know we can really see Luca's signature style even though he's choosing Luke right you yeah. see that patient chillin risk mitigating play nowhere to run oh it's good yes lord that's like wake up jab that's like critical art damage there 350 damage 400 damage 500 damage i mean who's counting wake up jab just do it do it do it do it pick look you know <laughs> search your feelings you know to be true you love to see it that's right not only did he pick luke but he did a reversal non-invincible attack when he could have potentially lost the round. They call that the Satsui no Unga Bunga. He has fully embraced the dark side. I love it. Luca, yes. Crush counter. This is this is a beautiful thing to see. Oh, a little bit of miss. Okay. Round two. Shinokuma, I'm sorry that this happened to you, but he did in, pick, did in fact pick Luke. Luke is hella cheap. Oh, you got to make up your mind, man. Who's who's cheap? Oh, Luke is cheap, but Balrog is also cheap. These things are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> mm. Just let's be real. Everybody's cheap. Look at Akuma's walk speed. He's on roll escape. That's cheap. Fireball activate. He's like plus 21. That's cheap. Oh, that dance in and the, the grab. That's kind of cute. But not cute enough. The Luca. Luke. Claiming souls. Digging holes. Shinokuma. Sorry, but it has to be somebody, and this time it was you. Yeah, Femboy Fighting Games, six for the raid. Hey, shout-outs to Femboy Fighting Games. Shinkuma, how was out of the, the bracket. How was the Kai training? Oh, we're talking about some Guilty Gear stuff? Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. GG Guilty Gear, just like the GGs we just had there. Uh, that, that was like... Just say it. Say it. Be out with it. You know you want to say it. You know it. That was some tomfoolery. Mm. But anyways, we got Honda versus Folk. I hate Honda. I'm going to be biased today. I think... Uh... There's only two opinions to have about E Honda. And the first opinion is that Honda is the sickest character. That's the wrong one. The <laughs> second opinion is that Honda is like hella annoying and really like just gets under your skin. That is the correct one. <laughs> Let's be real. I gotta sit down and hold all that bull crap. Man, that's just yeah. nah, shout some out, sort shout of some, Honda players. Some some kind of balance in this game, man. I respect Honda players. Honda just, players, they're just willing to do hands and then hands again. Like that that character needs to be deleted from the game. <laughs> Somaticus, you're telling me if you could go back in time, I would it, I would creation. kill I would kill Honda, Blanca, Zangief. Blanca? Geef? <laughs> Geef too, bro. I I hate grapplers. I feel you. I feel if you. It was, if the game was called Ryu and Ken, I would play that. Just play. 
my man. See, he knows what's good. If I can't have Balrog, I just need a Ryu. I respect that. I respect that. Speaking of respect, John 256, uh, a courageous and valiant player choosing Honda, even though everyone would slander him, the world is against him. He picks Honda. He soldiers on. He continues to do headbutts and butt slams. What to do? Should I do headbutt or should I do butt slam? Maybe I'll go with hands this time. I'm E Honda. Have you heard about sumo wrestling? Oh my gosh. Yes. Pokey, not like this. Yes. Yo, fully charged. Just fully charged. Fully. Yes. Wh you love Why does oh he need. God. Come in and grab him. Grab him. Why does he need armor? Let me see. I don't understand. John, John, John. No, John. Thank you. There is justice. John. <laughs> John, I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to not do that, bro. I'm gonna just come on, bro. <laughs> Pokey, I just need you to just poke. Poke him to death. Oh, okay, okay. The John 256 classic hands into light head butt catches everybody trying to take their turn back. Nice favorite reversal. Oh my gosh. That was some smart stuff. Using the game mechanics to his advantage. Oh, okay. Yes, that's right. Embrace the dark side. The Satsui no Uncle mm. Just do it. Fully charged. He won't V-shift. He can't V-shift that. Does he got those? Oh my god, round star dash. Let's go, John. Absolutely just willing oh, to test him. Blowing up the gimmicks. Oh, huge counter. Man, it's not over. You got you got V-trigger, bro. You could you know. Oh, checking the t Man, Pokey is just ex What? Okay, 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 John. John. That was sick. That was sick. John, you, you're killing yourself. Fog wins. You, John? Pokey is the god. Gonna need you to uh, be just a, just a tad more careful. Just a, just a little bit. No, man, Pokey. just go just go in. Just go in, <laughs> throw hands. It's okay. Pokey does, in fact, have the reactions. He knows the matchup. Ooh. You know, talking about hands, if you want to lend a hand to these players, you could check out the Matcherino and use the code. It takes all of 30 seconds. Donate Folk. 25 cents. Folk cheap. Falk is hella cheap, bro. What are you talking about? She's hella cheap. Look at that. Look. Bro, why, why she got the hardest anti-air jump-ins in the game? Yo, why can't she put the ball down? Why did throw do so much damage? That's cheap. Mm. She's hella cheap. I don't know, man. How come she could do DP with just two buttons? That's cheap. Ooh, pushing towards the corner. Ooh, John blocking the dive kick this time. Oh, good conversion there. Ooh. Caught him God. sitting back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo, thanks for that 25 cents. Yo, big blocking. That nice. Was... He delayed that. To get that, that is fog. Yep. Wanted, wanted, wanted all those hits to hit. 
the appropriate response. The appropriate response to the butt slam. John two five six. A valiant, a valiant run. Now I wish I had a two button DP. Let me. You know what's the crazy part? You could put the EXDP on one button. That's wild. Chick an EXDP with one button? Tell me that's not cheap. That's hella cheap. It's so fast. It's actually really slow, but it's so fast anyway. <laughs> All right, so we got Sam Stray versus Luka Doncic. Marv. Gonna be a uh, yo. We're at nine dollars. Shout out to everyone contributing to the Matcherino. You guys are awesome. Yeah, I see. I see y'all out there. Got just run. Insert shame. Razor hoof. Kevin. <laughs> I like that name. Yo, tell me why it's like just run. Razor hoof seventy eight. And just Insert Kevin. Shit, man. <laughs> just Kevin. <I'm> like, <laughs> all right, I see you, bro. Shout out to Kevin. Twenty five cents in the prize pool. Let's not forget uh, the top three competitors will see the Matcherino split up between them. Just a heads heads up, guys. We are taking a two week break for Full Bar Friday. I'll be out and about. Um, Potentially for the Evo weekend, I'll be heading out to uh, Texture Canada to hang out with the hang out with the boys out there, and um, and I have some work related stuff the week prior. So we'll be back in two weeks from now. That is um, correct. But we are doing full bar anime next Tuesday since it's not Evo yet. So. Man, you be you be working hard out here. You got anime Tuesday. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about what what else is this? Full bar live coming up. We have full September bar 20? live. Full bar live oh. on September twenty fifth. Is that if at you, the uh, if Denton Convention Center? It's at the Denton Convention Center, right off of I thirty five. So any of you Austin, San Antonio, and Houston players making your trek down here. Hit us up. Also, the, the sign-up sheet is up in the chat if you haven't signed up yet. Just a heads up, we are switching out P4A for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Um, there just has not been any uh, talk about people wanting to play that, so we're switching it out for a, a different game. So, Okay, okay. That sounds good. Sounds good. You know, if you're, if you're into Persona and you're into Full Bar Live... You know, maybe consider bringing your own. Bring your own setup, right? Yeah. Got to represent. But, you want your game to be represented, you got to represent. And also, we do have the merch. Help help us out to if you want to help fund the full bar live. Uh, all the contributions from the merch goes to uh for the full bar live pot bonuses, so. Ooh, sick, sick! You can get yourself a what? They got t-shirts. You yeah, got t-shirts. Anime Friday. You got salt balls. You know you want one of them salt ball shirts. I mean, imagine yourself. And we got hoodies, man. Even in this hot, blazing summer, we got hoodies. Imagine yourself. It's a balmy 107 degree day. You're about to go out. What are you gonna wear? Your salt balls hoodie. Yo, we're at $14. That is correct. Got to give a shout out to Young Razorhoof78 donating $5 to the prize pool. $5 getting split among the top three competitors tonight. Uh, big shout out to Razorhoof going to the Whataburger Fund. Yeah, we got we to gotta feed, we gotta feed the kids. Yeah, those, uh, you know, picking those dishonorable... Street Fighter 5 and Street Fighter 4 characters. You know what I'm saying? Jury players, Luke players. What happened to the days when you would just pick Ryu and Guile and Balrog? Balrog. Exactly. What happened to those days, man? We out here playing Laura? 
I don't know, man. It's a different time. Kids these days. What do they call that? They'd be like, yo, fam, Laura is lit. Right? I don't know why she's in the game. Hey, man. Obviously, I'm salty right now. I lost to Laura and Honda, so I'm pretty biased. Hey, man, Laura is cheap. Honda is cheap, too. Who are we waiting on? We are waiting on... Well, you know, if you're wondering who we're waiting on, you Yo, can type $20. Point, Someone threw in $20, making it $34 in the match Reno. Oh. Who did that? Shout outs to Just Run 112. Just Run. Young Just Run. I see, I see. You guys are giving Kevin a run for his money. Let's be real. Kevin. Hey, man. These guys out here represent. That's all I'm saying, man. Yeah, especially <laughs> Kevin, man. Kevin coming in with that 25 cents. Hey, that's. Hey, look. Amen. Anything, anything. Kevin is got you, man. Acceptable. Yeah, Kevin's got you, bro. Like he's yeah. not, he's not laying you down. In fact, my cat is named Kevin. <laughs> this is a true story. I have a cat. His name is Kevin. Uh. <laughs> Stole this chair. Yeah. All right, we're getting into the match. I'll be right back. All right, we got Laura versus Akira. Lugadonic versus Sam Strafe. Round one. Fight. This is Loser's top eight. The loser of this match is, in fact, going home, meaning that they will have to get up from their chair, go to the kitchen for a snack. Lex thunderclap, thunderclap pressure, jab jab out, back to the corner. Luca dominating position so far. Activate, make a save. Shimmy, Laura is reaching. Akira is teaching. Pressure city, back throw. Now the back throw for the end of the round is in fact optimal. If you didn't know, the back throw universally builds the most meter for a single attack so to say so if you can finish your opponent with a back throw you definitely want to do that luca showing his advanced game knowledge here uh, sam showing that he can do short jab elbow back to neutral luca punish we're in this corner again both players getting a feel for each other. It is game one. Oh my gosh, got the launcher. Ooh. Pressure City. Optimizing in the V Trigger one or V Trigger two, sorry. <laughs> v Trigger one's Daigo. Who is Daigo? Is that like her brother? <laughs> Round one. Fight. Regardless, we see Luka Donic, uh, channeling the spirit of Daigo here with the will to win. Uh, Read a few chapters. Up. Yep. Sam putting on some pressure. Luca perplexing Sam with this immaculate spacing. Activation. Both players playing it cool. Looking for a whiff punish. Oh, the counter hit's adding up. Man, 
and went for the throw tag. Nobody was home. All right, match point. Sam's going to have to pull something out from the pocket here. Current strategy not working. Luka dominating performance so far. Yet again, here we are. It's a mid-range play. Both both players potentially looking for a poke with punish. Yeah, the neutral's slowing down to a crawl. We got the super critical art conversion. Looks like it did not kill. Oh bold my gosh. Walk bold walk up. All right, it's time. It's time. Let's see something. Do not throw a thunderclap. He will be triggering. Okay. <laughs> you love to see it. Love to see it. Shout outs to Sam Strafe, making it particularly deep in the bracket. Luca, great performance there. Uh, moving on to loses round five. Sam, unfortunately out of the tournament, but an excellent showing tonight. Uh, making it particularly deep you know full bar friday brackets are in fact always stacked af that's what the kids would say right stacked af these brackets are no joke hey man if i can't you, i can't win them all yeah you know? i mean that, let's let's be real let's be real maticus maticus you know as powerful I, as he is can't win them all these brackets are that stacked right so if, if you're looking for that high level competition you know, definitely consider signing up for Full Bar Friday. Uh, if you want to support in another way, you heard us say it once, you'll hear us say it again. Use the Matcherino code. Uh, oh, if you want to help to out with future events, the store is available. Um, all that, all the contribution will go to uh, the production and pot bonuses for Full Bar Live. That's right. And help pay the bills around here. Uh, I just recently bought four ps4 pros <laughs> to make this thing happen so four is in fact more than three yeah but less than five and but somebody still a considerable number somebody donated the fifth one which Ooh. is very um i feel very appreciated about it so um thank you for everyone that's uh, wanting to make this thing happen and uh, hope our, hope um, we have more weeks to come on Full Bar Friday and yeah, uh, as long as all, as long as it's fun we're going to still keep doing this so yep we're moving on to the next losers match we need just Pokey and Siberian oh we're going to see some Geef huh alright a little bit more Geef action just Pokey, probably going with Falk. There's a lot of Twitch, or there's a lot of uh, chat activity. Oh, what's what's going on in the chat room here? What is um, what is in fact transpiring? Talking about matchups. Oh, we want to talk about matchups. Talk about magic. You want to talk about the game? You want to talk about practice? <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I see you, Maticus. Talk about uh, Laura. Talk about Luke. You really think Luke. Now, a opinion from the chat room. Opinion from the chat room. Luke is a, is a scrub buster. It's a good gatekeeping character, for sure. You think? Yeah, definitely to an extent, but also, hey man, that character is extremely like well-rounded. Let's be real. I don't see any of us blowing up any of the top players with it, but. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, so not only do you need matchup knowledge, 
Yeah. He, he, he's also like a, he's also like super well rounded, right? Like it's not like his toolkit is bad. He's oh, not yeah, like like it... We could say that like uh Abigail is a scrub buster, right? Because if you don't know some specific things, Abigail could just like schmix you, he's doing uh, Fear doing the tire, man. Right? Yeah, he's putting the tire out, right? But Luke? I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. I would not qualify that as a hot take. Speaking of uh, hot takes, Siberian, yet again, relegated to second player training stage. And just Pokey's been getting a lot of good matchup. Um, you think uh, Geef, does Geef have a real hard time? He has to deal with all those fireballs, but Pokey needs to be able to uh, be a few steps ahead in the zoning. Oh, we're getting to the corner now. It takes a while to charge up the uh, the um, the fireballs. Oh, going for the air SPD, no dice. Oh my gosh. He tried to punish the back dash, but it was a little too late to react. Ooh, that is right. That's a really good option, actually, being able to helicopter the the fireballs. Absolutely. Zangief's V Trigger One has invulnerable uh, invincibility against projectile attacks. Looking like Pokey is getting back to the corner, but generating a pretty good life lead. Using the V shift. Oh, he shot there. My man said, time to stop playing RuneScape and play Let's Street Fighter again. Let's be real. Just, just keep playing RuneScape. I'm, I'm, I'm just even more upset that I lost. <laughs> oh no. Thank thank you, Sam Strafe. For letting me know that. And it looks like Siberian takes game one. Hey my guy Sam. Hey man, you might you might have to play some RuneScape after that. Did you know Maticus runs these tournaments? Did you know that? Did you know that, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> look, 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 look. Sam, Round Sam. One. Playing with fire, bro. The man has the power of God, all right? <laughs> Speaking of powerful, Siberian showing that his Zangief is no slouch. Uh, showing that San Antonio FGC, what's up? Now, here's, here's the thing about Zangief, right? Zangief has a lot of health and uh, very few options to approach other than just walking. So a lot of Geef players are willing to take the hits. Just pokey, just poking. Uh, not phasing, not phasing Siberian at all here. Ooh, getting caught on the back end. Here we go, Oki. Oki, oh. Oki, no. Oki toes. Siberian, a little bit missed time there. Just pokey, poking out the shins. That is such a strange interaction. The dive kick from Falk beating the Lariat. Oh, we, are, we are running up command grabbing like we don't care in the world. Oh my gosh, good chase. Just Pokey trying to establish the uh, mid range here. Keeping Geef in the corner. Nice. Ooh. Uh -uh. Oh, he had to heat that. Ooh, that EXDP! Just Pokey, why are you so good? Falk wins. I'll be real with you. My guy, Siberian, you know, it's it's been a very candid evening. How come you got like three hits, bro? But you didn't convert? <laughs> I feel you. Just Pokey, 
Taking the risk. EXDP. Smart decision. It's 1-1. One, one. Round 1. Fight. You see Siberian going for the air SPD there, right? Commonly, you see you see a lot of people, when they start getting touched by Zangief, they start mashing on backdash, right? They yeah. want to get away, they want to get away. So Siberian, he goes for the SPD there to head off that really common option. If just Pokey had panicked, lost his cool, and mashed on backdash, he would have got grabbed by that. Speaking of grabbed... Get over it here. It is time. It is time. Oh, it's a heavy SPD. Time to guess. Ooh. All right, here we go. Oki again. Ooh, goes through the air. One touch either way. So, man, that was uh, <laughs> I was getting a little worried for old just Pokey there. Zangief gets a little spicy. Can never count him out. If he's got if he's if he's got an EX bar and a dream, you're one SPD away from losing the game. Mm. Oh, with the grab, got the full, got a little punish there. Siberian's kind of turning up the pace here. Let's see if Pokey can still keep his cool. He's got a pretty good lead here on match point. Nice anti air. That'd be cool if that actually juggles the old ball when he lands. I think there may be some. I'm not sure. But what is assured is Pokey moving on, going 2 1 over Siberian. Uh, Siberian, no slouch, making it really deep in the bracket. Pokey maintaining composure, keeping his cool versus Zangief. Not getting scrambled like the eggs, refusing to be mixed. Excellent play. All right, so we got winners finals. Man, two ones, two ones on most of the tournament. Hello, good games tonight. You know, some some may disagree. Some may that some may say there have been cheap uh, characters on the screen. You know, some Maybe biased you... commentary. You know. <laughs> But, but it's all, all love. It's all love for the game. You don't worry about it. Hey, there's man. no there's no harm or foul about it. See me offline. <laughs> you wouldn't try that on my Lamento. <laughs> <laughs> the games tonight have been really good though. Uh, shout out to all the competitors. You guys are really making Full Bar Friday what it is. Doing a super good job. Uh, if you would like to see what's going on, you can, in fact, trust the exclamation point bracket. Click it. You see who's on tonight. Uh, got a lot of heavy hitters in the bracket, as always. Uh, doing the full bar Friday stuff. Up next, we're going to have Espada versus GUPC. Got our players in the lobby now. Loading up the match. This is the winner's finals. The three out of five. Oh, I got to set. Exactly. Oh, this is like. winner's finals. This is three out of five. Don't forget it. That means uh, there is one additional match, right? You got a longer yeah. match. Uh, players have more time to adjust. Maybe you could try some riskier strategies. Maybe you could play more passively, trying to get more information, right? The dynamic here is different because it is, in fact, three out of five for winners' finals. The Not. UPC looking for number 19 tonight. Oh, that is true. You know, the UPC has been blocked from uh, victory the last couple of football Fridays, if I'm not mistaken. Could be a return to form. Fight. Gonna have to get through this Luke though. Working our way towards the P1 corner here. Oh, a huge jump in. UPC going for the aerial approach a little bit here. 
perhaps somewhat uncharacteristic. Maybe Luke is putting on the pressure. Need a pressure. Sweep. Activate. Oh, fishing for a crush counter. No dice there. Now, interestingly about Luke's V-Trigger, it only depletes when he takes damage. If Luke is left to his own devices, his V-Trigger will regenerate. Oh, good jump in. Making those good fireball reads. Giyu PC has got, in fact, the fireball reads. Been going for that air approach a few times now. It's definitely working out. A little bit of an input error there. Nice interrupt on the charge punch. Stun becoming a little bit of an issue here. Red bar of courage, sweep activate. It's not gonna matter. Actually, it might. Nice cross cut, very advanced maneuver right there. UPC though, getting the activate to the game one of this first to three set. Jury wins. Showing his dominance so far in the of his eighteen of his eighteen rings. How many? Uh, you know, I was gonna ask how many fingers you need for that, but considering that jury is on the screen, I'm not even just gonna approach the subject of digits. Just gonna, <laughs> just gonna let that one chill. Uh, he's got eighteen rings somewhere. I'm Ma throwing out some normals. Must have an infinity gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, two two rings on each finger, right? Like. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, good punish there. Sweep activate. You already know. They call it the red bar of courage for a reason. Bring out the big normals when it's time to activate. Oh, huge punish here. Getting caught pressing on wake up. UPC. Up one round, up one game. All right, starting to find some openings here. Getting close to the corner. Oh, the turn. I keep calling it the turn punch. It's, it looks like the same move. It might as well be. Luke in the lore is a protege of Balrog. Am I not? Am I mistaken there? No, that's uh, Ed. Oh, that's Ed. You know what? Look, they both are fighters with punches. Are we trying yeah, to say they're both blonde hair, blue eye. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> same difference. UPC. One pixel left. Oh, them crouch jabs challenging. Final round. Trying to make a, trying to get a point on the board here on this three out of five set. Both players really taking their time. Playing it cool. As, as, I, as I say that, we see a uh, EX over the fireball into an EX reversal into a wake-up jab. He's, he's throwing out that, that jab like it was three frames. <laughs> it, it might be. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice punish on the throw whiff right there. Ooh, that, that could have been scary from a spotter there. He's got to be really careful to approach. Give me them toes. Oh. I see what he tried to do there. Do. Luke wins. I can't Whatever speak today. It's Look, it's getting late. There's been tons of games. I haven't hate my Whataburger yet. I mean, yeah. Speaking of Whataburger, 
you know, everybody likes some Whataburger. And the top three players today are going to get some Whataburger money. You can type exclamation point Maturino in the chat to supply Whataburger funds to the top three. Uh, Giyu, PC, and Espada. Potential Whataburger champions here. Oh, huge jump out. Positions reverse, but the sweep. Stun becoming an issue. Oh, overhead, but he does a bar A out. Stand, jab, into stand, medium kick, activate. V reversal, no dice, minus two into throw. Corner pressure, V shift. Break. One touch. Giyu PC with the read on the fireball. Preemptive EX wheel kick. Back into the corner. Crouch short, crouch jab. We'll take. Simple round. confirms yeah. to take the game or take the round. That's right. Oh, a little bit of an input error there. Not the biggest punish. Tricky bit about fighting Luke is if he charges up that uh, charge punch there, you gotta really time the interrupt. You can, in fact, interrupt it. But if you don't time it properly, you're eating a fatty counter hit. One of the things that makes a matchup tough. Mm. UPC perhaps hungry to activate, going for that standing roundhouse. Smart decision from Espada right there, preventing GUPC from his win condition. Exactly. Forcing him to V reversal, taking away the activation chance. GUPC is going to have to make a regular old comeback. This might be enough. Not close enough to the corner. One touch will do it. Oh my gosh, that right. <laughs> That is a bold S move. S sniped him out. Let's not forget that that move is, in fact, punishable on block. Luke has very far-reaching and forward-advancing light normals. That could have been the end of him. Speaking of the end, GUPC putting an end to the free V-skill charge-ups from Espada been doing really good at punishing those. Oh, it's done. All right, we got the full bar. Maybe not. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. Going out with full resources. A spot of up 2-1 in the first of three set. Uh, Gyu PC gonna have to make a few adjustments here. We'll see if he can pull him out. Uh, both Giyu and Espada playing exceptionally well tonight. It's been a good match so far. Uh, you know, Jury, pretty good character. Luke, pretty good character. You think Giyu he's going to switch to Geef? No. <laughs> hey, yo. Giyu, I, I was about to say, Giyu, pretty good player. But if you pick, if you pick Geef, you're literally the best player on the planet right now. <laughs> like, let's be real. Come on, man. You, get, you know, nah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't listen to me. That's career suicide. Giyu PC, pretty good player. Espada, pretty good player. Pretty good character. Pretty good player. Pretty good match. Yo, what's up, Blaze Effect? Good to see you. Missed you on the bracket. Ah, uh, yes. The songs of the asylum. Training stage. Yet again. Look at how far away he can punish the wheel kick. They call that top tier. Chasing him down. Fire. Okay. I see you, Giyu. Yeah, Gi Giyu needs to win two more to advance in the grand finals, and Spot only needs to win one. A lot of pressure. 
Ooh, no pressure allowed. EXDP, just do it. A little bit of a hill to climb here. Espada on match point. Oh, caught the medium. Oh, jump in after throw. Okay. We've seen that before. Don't think it's connected yet. Bun on wake up. Dizzy's uh, building. Both players hungry to activate. They call it the red bar of courage for this very reason. There's nowhere to run. Time to go in. Expect to see that standing roundhouse. Ooh, failure to interrupt. Ooh, one hit. QPC is going to have to play flawlessly here. Oh, my gosh. Stan, we kick to take the game. Spada keeping his cool. Saying, hey, you got to come to me. You're the one who has to assume the risk here. Gyu PC, a little bit antsy to get in. Following up the fireball with a slightly misplaced EX kick. But Gyu not out of it yet. Espada advancing to the grand finals. Gyu going down to losers finals. Uh, potential rematch. Uh, Gyu will have to face the victor of the Just Pokey versus Lucadonic match. So not going to be an easy road for Gyu but potentially has the chance to become the 19 time yeah. champion 19 he's beyond the goat 19 how many i mean how many how many rings on each finger you got to go for 19 it's two right yeah two piece <laughs> two piece all right we need to be first to two Invite Luca Dantich, aka Marv, aka Marvin X Matters, aka Miro, and whatever Dallas player could be <laughs> could be Dirk Nowinski in there too. Got a just pokey, aka just pokey. Players in the lobby waiting for this match to load up. <laughs> so, uh, who, who who you thinking is uh, who you think is going to be facing versus Spada in the finals tonight? What do you think? That's a good question. We'll have to find out soon. I see. I see. These are very good players in this uh, final four here. Mm -hmm. You know, only if if only Giyu picked Geef. If only he had chosen Geef, he might have been in the finals. <laughs> uh, you, are, you are correct. Maticus is telling the truth. All of these players are extremely strong. It's anybody's game. Uh, if you are looking for the best competition you can get uh, in the southern net play region this is the place these players are incredibly powerful about to see some good matches tonight oh yeah for sure i mean all night has been good matches everything has been pretty close very competitive uh, nobody is a slouch you know you got to be honest if you are willing to sign up and participate in a tournament net play tournament offline tournament spirit realm shadow realm tournament wherever it is you got you got you got to pat yourself on the back it's no easy feat a lot of people you know would be uh, intimidated to sign up so shout out to everyone who just appeared today uh, even if you are a member of the owen 2 club you're still winning because you had the courage to sign up right just even easy. just even showing up is a huge win yeah for real let's be let's be real about that uh you're getting exposure out here and 
appreciate everyone wanting to play and watch. Oh yeah. Shout out to the shout out to the chat. See y'all. Oh, we playing Marvel already. Launcher in the Magic series. <laughs> Pressure in the corner here. Oh, man. Luca in a great position. Red Bar of Courage is activated. Oh, did he? No, didn't ca catch him at all. That's right, had, Marv knows. Had to eat the uh, V trigger instead. That is, in fact, interruptible. Let's see if this pokey tries that again. Ooh, excellent anti air right there, slipping under. Oh, yeah. All right, trying to use that uh, far reaching fierce punch. Keep uh, Akira at bay. All right, trying to get that fireball charge as soon as she can get it. Oh, no punish on the elbow there. Uh, uh. Oh my God. <laughs> three medium punches. <laughs> you know, you see three medium punches, and you go, for real? Three medium punches? But, but previously, we had seen just Pokey take some really long walks forward, right? Mm -hmm. Those long advances are screened Akira. by the possibility yes. of the multiple normals, right? You want to press a button, prevent the advance, uh, you know, you might get clipped by one of those extra normals. So just Pokey mixing up his options there. Uh, oh, yeah, Luca, agreed. Yeah. Luca up one game. Uh, Pokey might have to mix it up a little bit more, though. Uh, Luca looking particularly dominant right now. Got a potential character switch here? No way, right? Costume switch? It'd be new to me. Yeah, let's see. I mean, has, does just Pokey have a additional costume or Falk color? You know, some players are a little superstitious, and they believe that choosing a particular color or costume can enhance their power level, right? Is Pokey among them? Let's see and again, guys, if you miss most of the uh, tournament this will be uh broadcast in the uh, it'll, it'll be premiered tomorrow on youtube uh, we keep archives of matches of um on the youtube page so be sure to subscribe to the channel that is correct if you want to get a recap on some of the excellent street fighter 5 action tonight it's uh, youtube.com Forward slash football or esports. You know, some of these players are going to be reviewing their matches with that VOD. These guys are no joke. Everyone is well studied here in our top eight. All right, starting to get the life lead here. Oh my gosh, that V trigger. It's just like a nice reversal DP there. <laughs> Okay, get the V-reversal, v trying to negate some of this pressure. Oh, low four, nice. He's st stiffing out the uh, some of the uh, walk that Luca's been doing, but Luca t closed out that round. The magic pixel. Yeah. Oh, the dive. Ooh. <laughs> Try to do the dive kick shenanigans. Luca was ready for the DP. Oh, Pokey the fr has been living in the corner so far. Mm -hmm. is, is this the first time Pokey has been out of the corner? Oh, we're, we're going right back in. It's, uh, let me let me put you in the corner for a while. Target acquired. A little bit of a bold throw tech right there. Luca known to shimmy. Just 
Pokey in danger. All right, match point, Luca. Oh wait, I had the name switched. <laughs> Luca Donic taking Take it that. Two zero. A commanding performance there. Just Pokey really getting pressed to the corner. You know, it, it's interesting to see uh, the uh, for just Pokey to retreat in that situation. You know, just Pokey usually generally throwing out normals, willing to eat up space and a kind of maintain position to, well, just poke, right? Uh, but Luca just walking forward, sitting down, you know, the, just the, 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 the match radiates with the uh, eminence and uh, aura of intimidation from, from Marv there. Just mm -hmm. willing forward to walk and block, uh, pushing Pokey into the corner, really, right? Um, you know, also in in part due to Akira's excellent wall carry, right? You get clipped by Akira, you're going to the corner. But just the 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 amount of walk and block there, really impressive. Um, interesting to see the way Pokey chose to play against that. Uh, excellent showing from Pokey out of the tournament, but you know, not out that of the uh, top player standing, so to speak. Excellent performance tonight. GG's. Gone but not forgotten. Gone but not forgotten. You know, pour one out, bless up, whatever the kids say. <laughs> those, those, are wor those are words of the English language. That I, just that, out of my mouth. I just... I don't know anymore. <laughs> Round one. All right. Oh, we, got, we got biker suit jury. Is that a biker suit or a ski suit? Who knows? It's a. It's definitely some sort of suit. Or a sweat suit. Try to hide all the sweat of all the try hard. <laughs> Jury is a uh, degenerate character that just encourages degeneracy. Whenever Jury is on the screen, you know something cooked is happening. Marv, I'll be real. You need to cook this, man. I like, you know, Giyu, I like you, bro. You be picking Giyu sometimes, but Marv, you best cook him up. No, I want to see 19-time world champion. Hey, man. You might see it. He's taking that first game this is a first of three set losers finals this determines who's getting into the grandest of finals here oh ex shoulder yeah who's sweaty enough to take this yes the 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 the, the battle of the sweat lords uh, if we're gonna get sweaty we can uh see that jury is not attempting to punish the raw elbows on block. Marv waking up with a fierce. Oki time. Ford throw in the corner. Possible manual time. Oki chance. Mm. Let's do it. Ford dash. Counter hit. Could be it here. No, chooses to go for the easy combo. No activation. Three activates. One more setup will do it. Luca takes that round, tying it up. Looks like we might have to pack a lunch on this set. Absolutely. Neither of these players wants to hold very easily. They are fighting for their life. Loses bracket. Whoever loses this is going home, meaning that they will have to get up, go to the kitchen to get a snack, and then come back to their gaming chair. Huge jump, no anti-air. It's time for some absolute Akira gaming here. Pressure in the corner. Oh. Dizzy optimization right there. You love to see it. Hawaii. The scaling on this is pretty big. 
but it's enough. I thought I thought back throw would have simply killed her, but I guess I guess not. The scaling not. is pretty high. The scaling is pretty high. Maybe back throw, maybe not. You never know. You don't want to get into another situation. Best to spend it to end it, especially if you're going to go up one round or one game. Uh, plus, you know, Marv, an absolute sweat lord. You know he's going to do the most difficult, longest combo possible. <laughs> Nice deep oh. uppercut. Hey, you can't really jump on Luca. Like he got, he has his anti airs on point. Absolutely, that is the hallmark of a great player. Control of the ground and the sky. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Punish on the shoulder or the elbow. You perhaps getting a little bit more comfortable even at this deficit. Still got some time to work. That just. No one's budging. <laughs> yeah, Giyu does not want to get walked to the corner. Marv will absolutely just eat up all the space possible if Giyu lets him. Giyu is doing well not to retreat too much. Ooh, activation station. No chip out chance. This V trigger does drain the meter, but it's not gonna matter. Marv with the Abare wake up. Round two. Waking up with the jab. Dealing a whole 10 damage, I believe. And it's enough. Man, he the just threw that, threw that elbow out there. Already in the what corner again. It's like just Pokey and Giyu PC been on that player two side corner. Interesting to see uh, Marv will approach and then take a seat. That is to say, Lucadonic approach, walks and blocks, uh, and throws out a normal when the opponent approaches, but it's rare to see him fully approach into a normal. We'll see if Giyu PC can pick up on that and make, make the adjustment there. Marv looking for the whiff punish or potential counter poke instead of poking himself. Oh, oh no. With way too far out. All right, trying to train up all that uh, super bar, trying to keep him from supering. Nice. Went for the low forward to get the uh, get the round. First round for Giyu PC here. Let's see if we can keep this up. It's not going to be an easy fight. Luka mixing it up a little bit. Ooh, no punish on the stand roundhouse. Punish on the pinwheel, though. Back to the corner. EX out, not having it this time. Excellent back throw. That is yet another hallmark of an extremely high-level player. Speaking of high-level, we're going up to the sky. Akira with the DLC crossover character combos. Luka, right. commanding performance tonight. I mean, really. Look at this. What what powerful gameplay. Very He's dominant. Really to, Very to dominant. Dig, dig deep for this one. Round one. Fight. Ooh. Raw elbow. Marv, in fact, Yet again, asserting his dominance. Okay, here we go. Giyu getting some positioning now.
Both players. Tentative neutral play. Frame advantage. What's that? Roundhouse and to stand short? Let's go to the <laughs> corner. Yeah, Jury's been uh, living in this corner, paying rent, paying health health rent. <laughs> paying with her life. Okay, Chansu. Let's make it count. Do PC? Spend it to end it. Wise choice. Staying alive. This is to get into grand finals. Loser here takes third place and a trip home. Right. Trip to the queen side bed. Yeah, trip to the... Uh, or four fr full frame. I don't know. Whatever you got, king frame. California king. <laughs> California king. There's no room. Just bed. The loft. <laughs> <laughs> Studio. <laughs> there we go. Giyu mixing it up a little bit. Uh, not so trepidatious anymore. Walking forward. A little bit of a different timing. But will it matter? Here we are again back in the corner. Luka with a huge counter hit. Stun is building. One touch to stun. Oh, this could be it. Definitely dead. A three, right. a three O. Oh. No, not yet. Ryu is on death's door. Almost potential three O. Oh, you know, really struggling to punish that. Perhaps, uh, perhaps that's a problem with the jury. Perhaps a little bit of a problem with the matchup. What matchup? <laughs> matchup? What matchup? Fair and honest. Absolutely. Jury. A character with zero degeneracy. Truly a fair and honest character. You is going to have to make some fair and honest gameplay here. Fair and honest adjustments. Okay. Chansu. Would have loved to seen a back throw there, but Giyu PC still in it. Luka is fully stocked, but... Could be anybody's game. Just one oh, touch. Oh, here we go. Gonna need one more reset potentially. This combo does do a lot of damage. Does EX going to the corner. Big backdash there. Trying to steal that meter again. Trying to get that full bar. Nice interrupt, but no conversion. Whoa, what a dash. Luca taking the rare risk. Oh my god, the EXDP. Absolutely. That was big Busting brain there. That was actually that's, big brain. That's what Giyu needed to do. Had the gun cocked and loaded. Absolutely. You know, Giyu so far has proven that he knows <laughs> when to EXDP, and he will, in fact, release the EXDP. He said, sit he down knows. tight. I'm not going to be, I'm not leaving in, in a long time. Exactly. Uh oh. Getting his toes yeah. checked. Speaking of sitting down tight, we've been sitting down in this corner for a long while. Are you fighting his way out? Fair enough, though. Okay, Chansu here. Big throw tech. Pressure City gets caught standing. Giyu getting some charges in. Willing to just eat up the meter. Giyu just walk in and say, hey, look, give me the bar. Luca with an activate on deck. Yeah, just dissecting the defense. Oh, huge counter hit there. No convert. Take those opportunities. Reset situation. Goes for the Oki. It's a forward throw. One touch will do it. Makes a save. 
Make a save. Oh, Ooh. the overhead. Another clutch moment from Luca. Bring it out when it counts. Just a smidge of V-Trigger left. Match point, Luka Donic. Ooh, no punish there. Back to the corner we go. Nice counter hit. Mm. Yet again, you know, the timing has been good on these on these pokes, but the conversions, where are they? Yeah, counter. there we go. Counter hits adding up. Give me that meter. You don't need it. Have you seen a full bar? This is a full bar. Hold this. I'm giving you PC. Oh, oh no. no. I think that's GG. Shake my hand. No, not yet. Magic pixel. Chip out chance. Oh, that's it. Man, he was jabbing. <laughs> He was jabbing <laughs> for yeah, the life of him. He's going for that, going for the chip. Uh, smart play from Luka Donic. Moving on to grand finals. I would lose my mind if he'd EXDP'd again, though. Had been. Oh, I was, I was praying he was going to just do super. I was hoping. I was hoping. I had my hands in the air. I said, Gyu PC, take my energy, bro. But the last Gyu PC relegated to third place. Uh, you know, not a bad... Not a bad showing. Uh, Full Bar Friday is, in fact, stacked. UPC, excellent player, excellent showing tonight. Uh, GG's. That was a great set. Luca moving on to Grand Finals. He will face Espada, the formerly Akuma player, if I'm not mistaken. Now, utilizing Luke, uh, the smartest decision one can make as a competitor. He was originally a Nash player in the earlier Nash, season. Oh, boy. Then went to Akuma, Ken, have, uh, and then uh, Luke. There have been some lessons learned here. Uh, supply yourself with the best weapons. <laughs> but yeah, shout outs to Giyu. Excellent showing tonight in the top three, meaning he's in that he will, he will receive some of that Whataburger money. If you would like to support the players and their Whataburger funds, you can add to the Full Bar Friday coffers by donating to the Matcherino. You can use the free coupon code to donate 25 cents. You got a couple moments more. You can do the sponsor's quest. And if you are feeling generous, you can donate directly to the prize point. All of the payout goes to the top three competitors tonight. Speaking of the competitors, we have our grand finals. Right here, we have Luka Donic coming from the loser's bracket, Espada in the winner's bracket. This means that Luka Donic will have to win two sets of first to three. He will have to defeat Espada twice to win the tournament, whereas Espada will have to only win one set of first three to win the tournament. Looking for a long haul either way. Both players. Very cautious. Very good neutral game. Ooh, punish on the elbow there. Out of the corner. Activation station into the corner yet again. We got a red bar of courage for Espada. There's the activation using the enhanced sand blaster to gain some space. That's an in and out in that range using those sand blasters. Man. Got one touch either way. 10 seconds left on the clock. Got 10 seconds to destiny here. Ooh. Little antsy with the elbow. Getting the punish with the crouch jab. Espada going up one game, first round in the grand finals here. You love to see it. The the Satsui no Unga Bung. He said, "Yeah, hey man, we was playing fuzzies. You thought you thought you thought we was mitigating risk. 
optimal strategies? Nah, hold this. EXDP off of minus two, bro. That's right. I play Luke. Never forget it. It's like, let me take the neutral away from you. Yeah. Embracing the Satsui no Unga Bunga there. Just do it. That's that's real evil energy. That's real dark side stuff right there. You pick Luke and you did minus two EXDP? Okay. Let's see something, Marv. Let's 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 see something. You really gonna let him get away with that? Yeah, if his spotter wins, that'd be his fourth ring of Ooh, okay, okay. Actually it'd be his sixth ring. I was looking at Ooh. the uh checking the the old brackets on my iPad. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a whole hand plus one. Yeah. But that's Speaking been that, that was back in the day though, like back in the twenty twenty days. He was twenty twenty. And a little bit of the 2021 season. What a, a long, long time ago. Ages gone by. Yeah, it's crazy, man. This is how long I've been doing this. Wood Bar Friday. Shout outs to it. Spot up. One game here. Our grand finals. Look at that jab from Luke just reaching across the screen like a Dawson normal. This is why you pick Luke. This is the correct decision. It's time for Oki though. Ooh, double jump out. Believe it or not, that is a high level tactic. EXDP on Oki and every level tactic. Yeah, and to use the V reversal to stop the sandblaster pressure. You gotta give it up to Luca's neutral game for just squishing the opponents. You know, you'd really expect Luca to be playing like one of those big wall characters like Geef or Abigail with the way that he's just squishing people up against the wall. You can't get around this guy, but he played really Alex matter. many moons ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. He's got a little bit of that grappler style in him. Yeah. You can really see it. Spotter though. Not being dissuaded. Starting to getting close to the wire here. It's a tough look. Spotted going up 2 0 in the grand finals. Luca. Luke wins. Potential he's death to, door. It, he's trying to end this early tonight. Man, I pay Luke. I got places to be, bro. Got things to do. Let me get this 3 0 real quick. Oh, we're changing it up. Mm -hmm. Potential character switch? You think he's going Karen? That's a that's a pretty pretty good uh assumption. I mean I, maybe. I, I feel like Karen could probably deal with some of uh Luke's options. Or it could be the Luke mirror match. Maybe, know. you know. You know, Luke does win that matchup. You know, I heard Luke wins against Luke. Uh, <laughs> could potentially it's, see it's, a character. It'd be more playing the player that time. And if it's that the is true. mirror match. That is, that is absolutely true. Oh, oh the Luke mirror love. match. That's right. Embrace the darkness. Luke Donick. Pick Luke. Embrace the darkness in your heart. You know that he is the most powerful. All right, we got ourselves a real mirror match here. 
All right. This is the truest form of Street Fighter V available. This is all skill, no shenanigans. Huge sweep, cross up gets blocked. Activation station. Plus frames. Stun is a potential opportunity here, no. Stand medium kick, it's gonna do it. Match point, grand finals point, tournament point, Espada. Luka Donic is gonna have to pull something out of the pocket. Gonna have to dig deep, find a new stratagem to employ. Get that Luke tuned up, get the blood pumping on death's door right now. Oh, crush counter. Combo drop. Punish. A little bit of mom's spaghetti going on here. Man, playing, okay. a, playing a huge throw game. Oh, man. Super tough to approach. Both have full bar meter, too. Lugadonic, one touch away from Doom, but potential to activate. Ooh, nice whiff punish. A spot a little bit hungry to catch Luke uh, scrambling out of that situation with the foreground house. Spends one EX. Oh my gosh. Nice and firm. That'll do it. Full Bar Friday number 16 champion is Espada. Excellent gameplay there. Luka Donic coming in second place. It is, that's about it. Luke is correct. We love to see it. 3 0. Very, very good performance tonight. Uh, shout outs to all the competitors. Shout outs to everybody who came to watch Full Bar Friday. You know, if you want to support, there's still time to use that Macharino code. Explanation point Macharino in the chat. You see the link, you know where to go. You know how to do it. Support the players. Payout goes to the top three, meaning that uh, the lion's share will go to the champion, Espada. Then the rest will go to GUPC and Lucadonic. That's Espada in first place, Lucadonic in second place, and GUPC taking third. Uh, really, you know, excellent games tonight. GG's, everybody. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, appreciate everyone tuning in to the event tonight. And um, yeah, so the next few Fridays, we'll be taking a break uh, since um, Evo's happening. Uh, more than likely, I'll be co streaming it just to have a watch party, get everyone involved. But uh, it's either I'm doing the co-stream or I'm going to be out with some friends watching the event. So, And uh, and the Friday after, I have a work gig I got to take care of. And we'll be back on the – is it the 19th? Yes, the 19th. We'll be back on the 19th for that. However, we'll still be doing full bar anime because it's the first. It's it's on a Tuesday, so it's still the beginning of the week. Um, we'll be going back to Guilty Gear Strive. It's the the game that's still pretty hot in the business here. And you could uh, say it is uh, still blazing. It's still blazing. Still BS blazing. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, Hope everyone enjoyed the event tonight. And also, just want to plug Full Bar Live. If you happen to live in Texas or in the DFW or in the surrounding states that are around Texas and want to make a quick trip on a Sunday afternoon to hang out and play some fighting games on September 25th at the Denton Convention Center, we'll be hosting Guilty Gear Strive, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, KOF 15, Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, Persona is going to be switched to Grand Blue Fantasy versus, and then um, Ultra Street Fighter Four. And I uh, want to give a shout outs to Freaks, uh, Founded Electronics and Video Games, the Texas Shot Takers, and Aldea. Um, we have uh, setups provided 
with most of our sponsors that are on the graphic here. Uh, but yeah, Shot Takers are going to bring some arcade setups for some. Uh, I believe that's going. They're going to bring Gundam uh, if Ooh. they if they told me correctly. Oh, okay. Got some Bad. a few few noir cabs with uh, the Gundam game. So. Sick. But yeah, guys. Also, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's also, that's also uh, they're bringing uh, the Ultra Cabs too, right? Am I mistaken? I I wanted to say so, but we have PS4s for backup. Okay, okay. Sick. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully they bring them. Yeah, but, Full Bar uh, Live is gonna be awesome. Like, uh, it's gonna be sick. But yeah, guys, we'll we'll send y'all over to somebody tonight. Oh, somebody streaming. Uh, All right, what's... this is a. Uh, everyone is gonna judge you for this choice. Who are you gonna host? <laughs> You want to see some multiverses or some multiverses, Marvel? Huh? Tampa never sleeps. Is streaming Marvel? Oh, it's got to. It's yeah. I'll, I'll say nothing. I'll say nothing. You saying nothing? I'll say nothing. I'll say nothing. This is uh, this is all you, Madigan. So I'll say nothing. Or is somebody playing Street Fighter? Who is playing Street Fighter? Who plays Street Fighter? Nightmare Effect is playing Fighter? DNF Duel. Oh, I see. Creepy also, Sleepy uh, playing Killer Instinct. Louisiana. Yeah. Y'all tell me, chat, who should I raid tonight? Trying to uh, trying to see some Marvel, trying to see some Street Fighter Five, some DNF Duel. Where are we going? Got a multiverses. You have you have you checked that game out, Maticus? It's, it's actually kind of fire. I actually it like is? it. Yeah. Yeah. Who you play? I've been playing Bugs and um, Ooh. Iron Giant. Oh, the Iron Giant? Yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Let's see here. I got people, a few what's, people what's, playing. What's, let's raid Chocote. We'll raid okay, Chocote. Okay. Yeah. If he's still alive. It's a good pick. I will only judge you immensely for what you choose. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you already judged my ball rug play, so. Hey, look, that's a whole matter. I, I, I don't have any separate friends. Entirely. <laughs> All right, guys, be sure to give Chakate some love, and we'll see y'all whenever I see y'all. See y'all.